Okay, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Raj Royale <laughs> Podcast. Everybody wave to the camera. You're all what? live. Sorry for the extended intro. Thank you for taking the time <laughs> out of your very busy days what? to join us, especially Queen Nicktron. Thank you for joining us. This is the first time you've ever been on my show. I've heard so much about you. Uh, David Pakman, this is his first time on the show. Um, very excited. Chad, this is your first time. Killer Steven has been here before, I believe. And also Airsoft what? Fatty, who that's not Seriously. Airsoft Fatty, though. I don't know who that is, but we're, I think we're, we're working on it. Um, it's Airsoft Fat-ish. <laughs> oh, you're a friend of Airsoft Fatty? Where's Fatty? Well, we're, I think we're, he's double. filling in for him temporarily. I think Airsoft Fatty will be joining us through the course of the show. Okay. Uh, welcome aboard, everybody. Thank you again. Uh, I'm your host, Raj. This is the Raj Royale podcast sponsored by Displate. We're going to start off the show by going over the rules just in case there's any questions as to what those are. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to go one by one and allow each one of the contestants to introduce themselves. And then we will begin our topics. Let's start with the rules. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, above the heads of your contestants is a ticking timer. Once this timer hits zero, uh, there will be a poll that will be distributed through the Twitch chat. Once that poll is distributed, chat, you will vote for who you want to keep, not kick. Repeat it with me. Keep, not kick. Keep, not kick. That's right. That person with the most amount of votes will choose between the two lowest amount of voted people. In the poll, that lowest, uh, the person that is chosen will be eliminated from the podcast. We will repeat this process with rounds getting shorter progressively until there is one winner of the Raj Royale podcast. Yes. Happy that makes sense to everybody. Are there any questions? What do you win? Are there any more questions other than that? Because uh, there's <laughs> All no... right, cool. I will probably Sweet. host you. That's probably what the victory will be. Probably. Uh, but yes. You know, just four hours of work for a problem. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> welcome board. Let's go and have everybody introduce themselves one by one. Let's start in the top left hand corner, ladies and gentlemen. Joining us, Destiny. Hi, I'm Destiny. I stream at twitchtv slash I'm a full-time Minecraft streamer right now. Sometimes I do political commentary. Thank you, Destiny. I appreciate it. I love your haircut. What? It's really nice. I really like it. It really fits your Thanks, face. Thanks, I didn't ask for your fucking opinion on okay, it, Okay, thank you. <laughs> to, the, to the right <laughs> of Destiny joining us. Hasn't been on the show for a few weeks. We love to have him back. Mr. Richard Lewis! Go ahead and introduce yourself, Thanks Richard. for having me back, Raj. Yeah, I'm Richard Lewis, uh, award-winning journalist and uh, esports aficionado. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Thank you for Weird joining flex. us, Richard. Appreciate your time today. To the right of Richard Lewis, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Wes, by the way. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Wes. Hello, I'm Wes, by the way. Uh, and I personally rigged the Iowa caucus to trigger all the Bernie bros. <laughs> True. And to see if I could bait Trump into making a homophobic tweet about Pete winning, but it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wes. Appreciate it. Ironically, all the homophobia came from the left instead, huh? <laughs> Weird how that works. <laughs> uh, to the right of Wes, the by the way, jo joining us... Uh, Miss Minx. Minx, go ahead and introduce yourself, please. Hi, Raj. How are you? Hi, chat. How are you? I'm Minx. What? Yeah. Um, I'm actually probably, if we're being completely honest, the smartest person on this cast today. Um, uh, nice to meet you guys again. Thank you, Minx. I appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Thank you for joining us. Right below <laughs> Destiny, far left, Chad. Welcome, Chad, aboard the show. Go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. Hey guys, I'm Aniki Chad. Go get him. I have Tourette's. I love my mommy and hanging out with my bros. Um, I'm also probably the smartest person on this show. We'll just have to see about that. All right. Thank awesome. You. Awesome, well. Chad. Well, thank you so much. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much to the right of Chad, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Killer Steven. Killer Steven, go ahead and introduce yourself. Killer Steven. What's up? Killer Steven. I don't have a, a good intro. Just a dude. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be something else about you, like you're a conservative uh, political commentator. Oh, there you go. I'm, I'm, the, I'm okay. the token righty. I wouldn't call myself conservative, more libertarian, but I'm here to bring that side. Okay, awesome. This is where just affirmative action gets you, Kelly Steven. Just letting you know. Just yeah. Oh, my God. Who has the circus going on in the background? Jesus. Uh, Am you I the only mute, hearing this? Airsoft fatty. You got to mute Airsoft, it's Airsoft. Fatty in the Discord. All right. And then he's got to mute, he's gotta mute his thing in, in the whereby. Uh, to the right of Killer Steven, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcoming aboard the show, one of the most sought after guests, Mr. David Pakman. Is that me? There's like ten people talking at once. I can't hear. No, hold on, David. Like, actually, oh, yes, David. Holy fuck. David, there's somebody. There's somebody. <laughs> Airsoft Fatty does not have their whereby muted. Uh, there's a little bit of a technical. 
Uh, if you, <laughs> whereby are they? Oh, they they need you need to mute them manually. Uh, Airsoft fatty in the in the you see what? David? Do you see the uh, uh, right? You see his camera? It says airsoft. Hold on. Pro tip: right click the whereby uh, tab He's itself and them. hit mute site. You'll never have this issue again. You'll never hear someone that's talking through whereby. Blit. Yeah. You got it. Actually, scuff. Bust the move. <laughs> okay. Do you, you got, got him it. muted, David? What? You got him. I muted the entire whereby thing. Okay, perfect. Go ahead, David, and introduce yourself, David. Hey, David Pakman. I have no clue what I'm doing here. Host of the David Pakman Show, YouTube, Twitch, all that stuff. Thank you very much, David. We're looking forward to having you on, and I hope after the show you figure out what your purpose of being here was. Thank you for joining us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, under a new rebrand, very excited to introduce to you, Lumi Roo. Welcome aboard, formerly Eva, Eva Unalov. Go ahead and introduce yourself, please. Did you really just dead name them? Jesus what, Christ, the, Raj. Is that, Destiny, what the fuck? Is... Destiny, shut the fuck up. It's not a dead name, just <laughs> okay. to be really clear. Oh, I've God. explained this a few times. That naming has particular implications. I don't really care that much. Oh, anyway, right. I used to be Eva Unalove. I go by Lumi Roo now. Thank you so much, Raj, and everyone else who's been super supportive. I use they, them pronouns, and my goal here is to help the world be a kinder place and also get rid of systemic issues of inequality <laughs> such as racism etc basically i'm your sjw so, thanks uh, for having me sleep, sleep. welcome lumi Ruth. thank you very much for joining us Blue. bottom left hand corner and if i call you eva at any point during today be, feel free to slap me around a little bit uh bottom left hand corner nick tron welcome aboard am i live <laughs> yes you this are live. This recorded for YouTube. Restart. Yes, Restart. Hello. Live. Um, I'm, I'm Nick Tron. Uh, I stream on Twitch for over five years. I come from the great country of Greece, the country that made democracy. We're broke. I'm very oh. open-minded. <laughs> sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I sincerely don't mean that. I'm really it's sorry. true, though. I have, I have Tourette's, so I sometimes... <laughs> just take random shit, you know? Um, I don't mean it. It's totally fine. Call you the truth it's, ticker. It's, it's totally fine. Why, why it's, was my intro interrupted for this? No, no, it's, it was... It, 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 it wasn't, wasn't intentional. intentional. I'm quite sorry. I didn't it mean wasn't it. wasn't intentional. Neutron, do you know what Tourette's is? I don't answer to plebs. Move on. Okay, Nick, continue your <laughs> intro, please. <laughs> As I said, I'm a very open-minded person. I'm non-discriminating, and Blip. I'm very just. I fight for human rights. I'm very liberal. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Welcome aboard. To the right of Nick Tron, Mindwaves TV. Welcome aboard the show. <laughs> What's up, Raj? Hey. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm basically just a scuffed version of Raj, a little bit more political. Um, okay. That's basically what I am, all right? Awesome. Uh, yeah. I also smoke weed. I also have podcasts. So there you go. Wow. <laughs> smoke weed and have podcasts. That's me exactly. That's awesome. Thank Basically Raj, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks for having me, dude. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you for being That's here. That's not very cool. Marijuana is a bad drug, dude. Okay. It's okay. not a yeah, drug. Yeah, well, fight me. Plant. Right. Well, technically, is it a oh, drug, Destiny? I don't want THC, <laughs> cannabis, yeah, sure. Something in there is a drug. Well, anyway. Okay. Please. To the right of Mindwaves TV, introducing last but not least, it's supposed to be Airsoft Fatty, but it's his friend filling in for him for just a few minutes, uh, and he will be here. Go ahead and introduce yourself, friend who's filling in for Airsoft Fatty. <laughs> his mic's muted. I can't Hello? hear him. <laughs> no, we're gonna hear Hello? Him. 30 minutes of tech support. Can't Hello, are this you out. there? What color? What color am I? Uh, Airsoft, uh, your your mic is muted in Discord. I think this is this is a this is filling in for Airsoft Fatty. Oh, uh, David is also gone. David is also gone. David? I'm pretending. I'm pretending. Oh, okay. oh, David okay. is here. Gotcha. All right. Okay, we, we lost it. We lost your audio. Hold on, I'm gonna move it. I'm sorry, Raj. I gotta go. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> uh, hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> He's not muted. He's not. He's not muted what at all. What shit show are you running? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, hey, that's a better intro than mine. Yeah, Fuck yeah, it. Yeah. Well, let's give it up for him. How about that? Yes. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the show. Once we figure out the microphone, he'll join us and be able to do an intro. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to your Raj Royale podcast, February eighth, two thousand twenty. Okay, say hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Don't worry, there's music in your 
Okay, here we go. All right. Let's start off with the first topic. Uh, who here is familiar with the Iowa caucus? I hope you are. It's been plastered all over major news for a long time. Yes. Uh, sure. This week. Uh, okay, so I'm going to briefly put it into context for anybody that doesn't know what it is, and then we will start talking. Okay. Uh, the Iowa caucus. Uh, this week, the Iowa caucus uh, fell into chaos. Uh, it was flooded with technical difficulties. Uh, the, the results uh, were displayed multiple times. Uh, it, it is surfaced that uh, Buttigieg's campaign had a paid, sha uh, paid shadow, uh, a company which developed the Iowa caucus app. Uh, with 99% of the results reported, Buttigieg is ahead by point, is it point one or point oh one? Point one percent and Thursday night, CNN declared his victory. Was the Iowa caucus rigged and why? Let's start with whoever wants to go first. Two other candidates also had funding into this app and they didn't fucking win, Okay. So the funding thing's total bullshit. People just want to point at Pete because he won. Two other ones got shown that they also had campaign Dude, I'm just saying that if this is apparently Alex Jones' levels, let me just say the frogs are indeed gay. All right? I do what? think there's some shenanigans going on here. And the whole caucus thing was a huge blow to the, go get them, to the optics of the Democratic Party. Because after my parents and their family and their friends watched that, the hope for the Democratic National Convention, the hope for the Democratic team in general to beat the Republicans, to beat Trump, looks like not good, dude. Looks like it's going to be another loss, man. I, I well, think they got it, like, one at a time. Let's go, let's go David first and then Richard. David, Bernie go ahead. The nomination. There's no question there's an effort to deny Bernie the nomination. It's not by rigging it so that Bernie wins the popular vote but loses what? the delegate count. The the effort here is an asymmetrical one. Okay. If the establishment wants to deny Bernie the nomination, they don't need to push anyone over the finish line. They just got to keep Bernie from winning before the second round of voting at the DNC. So if it's rigged at this level, it's not, not the right way to rig it. The right way to rig it is to increasingly divide the vote, Wait. deny Bernie enough delegates, and then give it to the super delegates at the DNC. I mean, look, so calling it a conspiracy theory, I think, is like a, a pretty outrageous stretch because most conspiracy theories don't leave a solid paper trail of conflict of interest. So if you just go through it, uh, Tara, Tara McGowan, who uh, is the person behind the Shadow Incorporated company that made the app, was a former Clinton uh, campaigner, Clinton strategist. We all know what Hillary Clinton and the DNC did in 2016 to deny Bernie the nomination. Then you've got the fact that okay. McGowan is married to Michael Haller, who was a senior strategist within Pete Buttigieg's presidential campaign. You've got that the Pete Buttigieg's campaign paid $42,000 for software to Shadow Incorporated. The two nights before, they're all out drinking together. The optics on this are fucking terrible. And yep. I'm not even saying there is like some shenanigans going on within the app to give Pete more votes. But all of that is enough, I think, for a fucking investigation. That's a huge conflict of interest. And for, from the DNC, who've been fucking going on about electoral integrity for three years on this Russian collusion bullshit, uh, you know, if you care about your fucking electoral integrity, start with your own shit like this. So in terms of comparing this to Russian collusion, that is just absolutely hilariously not even remotely the same. So what happened Asinine. with this caucus, what happened with this caucus was, uh, ironically enough, Iowa wanted to have unprecedented transparency into their caucus system, so they decided to release the first, second alignment, and popular vote numbers, which historically is something Iowa has never done before. This is one of the reasons why, one, people are finding a lot more discrepancies than they did, than they did in the past because the data wasn't made publicly available, and two, why the process is taking so fucking long because an app that they developed that was going to report the results ended up not working, and they had to bring in a bunch of people to fucking do it, and they weren't ready for it. So, like, caucuses are just bad fucking hombres. Like, you yeah. talk. Agreed. <clears throat> Destiny, you lost. We lost audio. Hello. Hello. Wait, really? Yeah, go again. Continue. Wait, what you're saying. You... Caucuses are oh, bad hombres. Okay. Continue. Yeah, caucuses are bad hombres. You just shouldn't be doing them. You shouldn't like them. You shouldn't champion them. A lot of Bernie supporters like caucuses because Cauc Bernie yeah. traditionally does well in caucuses. Yeah. So they kind of wanted it, but now that they saw how much of a clusterfuck it is, now they're like, well, hold on, maybe caucuses are shit. Um, in terms of like finding connections around campaigns, if you play that game, um, you, you can find those yeah. connections with almost anybody. Like when you have. Like when you have manufacturers of apps that do election related data, a lot of the people that be in these companies are going to have come from prior campaigns. A lot of the people that work with these companies are going to come from a lot of different campaigns. Yeah. Like it's a world where everybody works together and does stuff together. Like if we better try to draw those connections in esports, like 
how many players are friends with people that own teams that do commentary on oh. you know games that are friends with sponsors that are like like it's just that's how industries work. And the, like, and you're there never is a ton have of corruption like a... in these sports. <laughs> that too, was though. painful to pay not attention a, to. My not, 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 a, not necessarily the best argument in terms of. Well, yeah, but like if we were to like no, has has people have people claimed that like a like a CS:GO land was like rigged by like a dude's friend or whatever? Like this isn't stuff that I thought so. It was, it, it was just revealed that there was an entire tournament designed purely for the purposes of match fixing just a couple yep. of days ago. It's what happens every single time an unexpected result happens. It's not a rigging. It's just unexpected. And what it's going to do? It's making the Democratic Party cannibalize themselves even more to the point where not enough Democrats will stand behind whatever Democratic person gets candidated. Uh, or gets picked, and what? it's just going to hand the win to Trump long term if shit like this keeps happening. Okay, wow, well, all that so, is boring and and can't pay well, attention Iowa to it. All like that matters is that it looks core. really fucking bad for everybody. Yeah, it looks bad for sure. It looks bad and, for sure. And it so, bad if, falling you in, if you don't want to get into the nitty gritty of this, the thing that you can keep in mind is we can be working around ourselves on grassroots activism, trying to educate people on issues within our communities. Does that require going outside? Sometimes. <laughs> going outside, and I'm good. No, thanks. What That's... the fuck does that have to do with the topic? You can... Are you just a hashtag ad for feminism every topic? <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> saying that some of us don't sure get into the very, hard, very yeah. nitty gritty of this. And I think that there's, it's good to we have call those people ill -informed. get involved. Can someone tell me what yeah, I mean, how you count votes, how you count votes and whether you can win the popular an election is not nitty gritty to me. It's sort of like the most important thing. Yeah, but like, well, so like, I, I don't, I just, I don't give any credence. Like if somebody starts crying about something related to a caucus process, I just, if you weren't complaining about it beforehand, I don't care. Like the, the, all it looks I to I cried me about is, it like, yesterday. Yeah, I don't know. I believe you because I don't think you're a partisan hack. That's why you're one of the few <laughs> people kidding. that I actually look up to <laughs> and think are cool in this arena. But like all, like the Michael right. Brooks types, like the Kalkalinsky types, like all these other people that are crying about all the crazy. Oh, shit. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean, like this is what a caucus is. Like you wanted it. So you bought it, you paid for it. Now here it is. Like, you know, fuck off. Like if, if you're mad about how the process is now because your candidate lost, I don't know. I think that's mm. bullshit. Right. Shots fired. Yes, like I think the fact say, that we're using an app like to do this to actually tally votes is fucking it's it's we're really not dumb. using an app like, to like, tally votes there's... the app was used to report the vote tallies there's still a paper trail behind every single vote that was cast yeah of course there's still a paper trail right but like I I don't know like the fact that it failed um and like now we're waiting what like multiple days for the actual results Please. and then we, we get like updates with discrepancies and all that stuff this could have been avoided by just we're, using we're like uh paper documents like there was no need for this app right like I really yeah, here's the, the fact like, that the the fact that the, the, the fact that the fact that finish finish your they, thought the fact that they let the, yeah, the fact that they decided to hire somebody with like close ties Please. to the people running in the election, I don't think is any surprise. Not to say that there's a conspiracy, but I think that this is clear establishment uh, nepotism, right? Like they they could have gone to somebody else that was more competent to build a better app. I don't think they should have name in the one first person, place, but still. Please. Well, okay, people keep bro. saying you could go to someone else to build an app. Who else does this type of work? Well, okay, so that's the thing is that the, the, this type of app, the type of security that's required is very fucking hard. I, I actually agree with you. The idea that like any fucking what? company can run in and make this app is not true. But the fact that they made this app and weren't able to like properly test the load on it um, goes to show that they didn't really care about like uh, testing like how much the, the app could hold, right? Like under a stress I don't know test. I goes to show it. I mean, I'm just like, these are two different claims. Like, so the first claim of like, did they suck in terms of like how they vetted the app and how they tested whatever? Absolutely. That was a huge fucking bungle. Boomers and technology should never be mixed, especially when it comes to elections. Holy fuck. True. But the idea that they should have That's just gone to somebody else, like, chances are, like, if they had gone to oh. somebody else and, and it fucked up, what we we'll would be saying is, why would you go to, like, some random non-endemic person to create this app? Why wouldn't you do somebody that's had, like, a history of work in this industry that knows, like, what they're supposed to do? Which is what the shadow company does. Yeah. They do a lot of in-industry work. Like, you would expect well, them to use a company like this to do it. Just, just to add on to that, I don't think it's an unreasonable criticism to yeah. say, like, why did you use this company... Yeah um based on like prior stuff and prior projects they've been involved with this was the first app of this particular nature that they created if you go and look there was a article on motherboard about it where they had white hat hackers and tech experts look at it and they basically said uh you know there's loads of quotes on there that it was th thrown together hastily the article is called it is an off-the-shelf skeleton project 
Uh, it had huge security issues. It wasn't even fit for purpose, and all it was was so a glorified calculator. So what's the motivation calculator. to use it then? What's the motivation what to that, use sir? this app if it's not? If the it's motivation not? to use it was because they were reporting so much new data that they wanted an easier way to collect it, and because people think that technology automatically makes everything better. Some dumb boomer was probably like, oh, cool, let's get a fucking phone app to do it, just like on my granddaughter's iPhone. I've seen all the kids do it. It'll be awesome. The official on the record rationale for Wait. using this app was that they wanted to modernize the process and simplify the reporting of caucus data what? because they know caucuses are fucking shit shows at the best of the time. That's a pretty noble Can we goal, just zoom out just one second, though? I, I think what's being missed here is no matter what we knew going into Iowa, like if Pete gets five percentage more of the vote, he's going to come out with one or two delegates more than Bernie or vice versa or Biden or whatever. You need 1,990 what? pledged delegates on the first ballot to win this thing. So what hasn't changed is that this the the exact results here don't actually make a difference for the nomination and what? that's where you need to be if you think anybody's rigging this it's it's much more likely to be in the way this entire process is going to go down from from now until that first vote at the DNC not in whether Pete gets 13 and Bernie gets 12 or vice versa in Iowa yeah, well, not to imagine, still, not it's to such imagine. a tiny issue yeah, not to mention the fact that you just you just can't rig a caucus. You just can't do it. There's just way too many. Moving okay, parts. okay. What about what about those, those coin tosses, tosses? What about though, those? Dude? Coin those are pretty coin tosses. Yeah, the Bernie coin lost the bad RNG, guys. guys. We the guy this literally is looking at it while it's we're watching it. I flip this shit and say, yeah, Pete gets three more. Pete gets That's, three more. Yeah, but we don't know. We didn't get a recording of every single time Bernie won a coin flip, right? Like caucuses are shit shows. No one's gonna deny that. I think Bernie the reason we didn't get a recording about it when all of them were celebrating. I think all of them were happy to record it was because they were fucking shit. All right, chat. Chad, uh, everybody was so happy Jessica. when caucuses were coming back because they favored Bernie. Then when they saw how much of a shit show they were, wow, surprise Pikachu face, they're always a shit show. Now we're like, well, hold on. I think coin flips are a really bad way to it's, determine It just election. seems like Bernie bros are being sore losers. Ask they pain. expected yeah, to win. No, this, this isn't the first time this has come up. I think every year we have a conversation about the coin flip memes, right? That, like, this isn't the first time this has been used in elections. Well, well, I, like, right. I don't know. I don't recall seeing coin flip memes in the past. Maybe there was. Well, because there wasn't I've, such a big issue with them. I have. In, in two 2012 on the Republican side of the Iowa caucus. Oh, I don't think goodness. results were released for like three fucking weeks between San uh, that showed like either Santorum or Romney or whatever one. Like the, the Iowa caucus has always been like a massive shit show. This isn't anything yeah. new. Why are we pretending what? it Every is? Year. Do primaries run better? Whoa. whoa. Yes. yes. Well, they, yeah, it's like an yeah. actual process. It's not a bunch of people standing around in a gym for fucking three hours, you know, <laughs> running around at the different playing four corners. Why hasn't everyone switched off caucuses and everyone does primaries instead? Because people are there's a bunch of rules like New Hampshire has to be the first primary, Iowa has to be the first to vote before eight, at least eight days before the first. It's like you have all these state oh. rules and it's a it's a complete patchwork okay. mess. But that that's a totally mm. different topic. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's safe to say if I don't have a fucking strong opinion on this one. Well, I think it's on topic because if there is an issue, we got to look at how to fix the issue, right? I, mean, I, think, I don't think there's think any interest should, in fixing uh, the issue, though, I right? I mean, the, the, the good thing about this it. is with all the obfuscation and confusion, you know, like, it's worked incredibly well for Pete Buttigieg's campaign because even when the results weren't in, he came out, declared himself the winner, apropos of nothing, seemingly. He gets a nine-point boost over at New Hampshire as a result of this. Um, and, and the media for three days, because they're not going to give Bernie anything, was saying they were, they were just parroting what Pete Buttigieg said. Oh, yeah, he's won it, he's won it, he's won it. They were saying it when 70% of the votes were counted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, so I mean, like, well, he made an incredible That was 70. ballsy as fuck of him. Well, wait. Well, no. First of all, Pete it's had to ballsy. because they banked everything on Iowa. They had no choice but to yeah. claim victory. Secondly, mm -hmm. Pete's internal numbers probably showed them winning. Bernie's internal numbers probably showed them winning. You like, they, they, both. Of the, it was very close. But when they were reporting on who was winning, it was because Pete was up in state delegate equivalents, which he was when they, when sixty percent was in, when seventy two percent was in, and then when ninety seven percent was in. Like, Pete was up in state. Yeah, delegate but Stephen, hold on one second. Pete, Pete came out when one percent was in. Yep. thing down and goes we're going to new hampshire victorious you've shocked the world and it was like yeah, yeah, yeah. we but shocked pete, the world pete, pete, and how poorly pete isn't this going, thing went but you david you know this pete is not going by what was the official report they every single campaign sends their own staffers to the different Wait. caucuses and then they relay information to themselves that's why after um pete made that announcement bernie bernie's camp released their own internal numbers that showed i think they said 40 or 60 percent reporting before iowa had actually officially released information as well like everybody so had their own the staffers at different places to figure out who they thought was going to win the election does the uncanny benefits and convenience Pete gained from this whole debacle not strike anyone as odd? Because one, him coming out on top was unexpected for the general majority. Two, they mm. themselves said their websites got a lot more traffic during that whole thing. 
right? He got a lot more news coverage, a lot more traffic, and perhaps turned a lot more people onto him, right? I'm the thing just is, it's, 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 it's really hard to, like, do it's hard to do historical counterfactuals, like, well, what would have happened otherwise? But, like, I think you could make an argument that this type of thing actually right. hurts somebody like Pete, where he was, like, relatively unknownish, like, to the general population. We'll like, it. if he could have had, like, a strong win or even a second place or even a tie with Bernie and then had that all over the news without all the right. crazy debacle going on with the Irish shit, that might have benefited him more than than, than all of us. Right, this, but like, it is crazy. still better than losing. The, the status well, quo, the yeah. reality is better than losing. What the fuck was that? It's it's a kids voting for Bernie. Like, yeah, they're pissed like, about the caucus. Sorry, continue. A couple <laughs> Bernie voters protesting Iowa. Okay, uh, let me say okay, something. Go, go ahead, I love the Cox. I I, go, I love the Cox too. But the like, I, yeah, what? I think you guys are making a big deal out of it because you know, in Greece's nice. next top model this last year in the finals yeah. where the public needed to vote for the winner the first time ever in history the the vote actually fell apart because too many people went yeah. to vote so they had to declare two winners so i think something similar happened there too like tyra banks even got involved and they had to give the prize to two winners so i mean why can america just do the same it's a, it's an easy solution for me just have two you, did you just compare two. reality television to electing a U.S. president. <laughs> He's got a valid point. He's doing it. I mean, that's very right. fair, dude. He's doing it. Reality television is actually better. It, yeah. yeah. I mean, what's that's your true. point? So you think, Nick Tron, you think that they should call it a tie? And declare both of them winners. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, that's what happens when someone votes. Like, I, I watched it on live TV. I kind of felt scammed because I voted for someone. What? But then the system just fell, so what can you do? Did you like, vote you in the all... caucus? I thought you were a Greece national. Are you, are you? No, I voted for Greece's next top model. I don't watch the oh, caucus. Oh, like, what the fuck, fuck are we talking Wait. about? What is happening here? <laughs> but as if this is what... a shit to me. You're literally the male candy land, okay? You are being <laughs> ignored. I'm okay. what the fuck you don't is talk to me, Wes, because look, look. at that poker tournament, I took everything you had, okay? You don't talk to me about being the male <laughs> candy land, okay? You probably oh, don't man, remember it, to that. but I That's do. I don't, I don't okay. Know. Thank you, Nick Tron. Appreciate it. You're um, welcome. Okay. And by the way, I want to introduce Airsoft Fatty into the conversation. Hello? Airsoft Fatty, you there? Hey. Oh, no. No. his oh, mic no. is muted again. We're going to oh, fix it, Airsoft. I swear to God, we're going to get it to you. Oh, my God. We're going to get it to you, Airsoft, Addy. Um, we're going to get you there. It's going to happen, I promise oh. you. Welcome to the largest podcast on Twitch. <laughs> okay, look. Really unironically. All right, look. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. Uh, yes. Hello. Airsoft, Wait, Fatty, really? why don't you introduce yourself? Because you didn't get an opportunity what? to do that. You're joining us a little late. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry about the lateness there. Um... But yeah, I'm here, so Fatty. I do what? a lot of stuff on YouTube, Warner K subs, and we do stuff here on Twitch daily. You guys got to speak with my friend Aaron. Very you say you nice. have Warner K subs? Sorry, Adam. Very Aaron had no talk time. 100 K subs, not Warner K. Very oh, nice. I thought you said Warner K to a subs. I'm like, that's a very, really very really nice flex, Airsoft Fatty. We're, we're good to have you. You, you actually you competed topic. last time you were on the show. You got very close to winning Mia Malkova's heart. It was very close. I think you were third or fourth place. How'd that go? Not fucking believable. You know what? I'm okay with losing because there's someone that has my heart at the moment. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you very much, Airsoft Fatty. Good Sorry, to have you, you on. That's not a funny joke. So. Um, <clears throat> awesome. Do you, do, you think that, do you think at the very least in this thing, Destiny, I want to ask you specifically, uh, do you think wow. that like, the media <laughs> is not rigged, but maybe do you, do you think the media is showing like a bias yeah, against Bernie? Yeah, I think Bernie? that there is, of course, like certain favoritism towards certain candidates shown for a variety of reasons. One, because there's yeah. probably like a certain company culture that might favor a particular candidate. Two, because news media stations oftentimes want to show people who's already like the most popular candidate because they make more money doing it. Like, I'm sure that there's like a, a, a little bit of stuff there that's definitely worth looking into. Why is this my, even my, a question? This well, is but my, because my broader problem, problem is that people like when you start attacking the electoral process you sound like a very dangerous precedent that like elections can't be trusted and like this is stuff that we all criticize trump for doing this when he said three million illegal immigrants voted because trump wasn't happy with you know the outcome of you know some of his election and i think it's really dangerous when democrats especially bernie bros are gearing up to do the same like anytime well, we're the primary or caucus trust? are we gonna hear what do you have full trust in the system in that case i think it's fair that people can criticize it or there's question. a difference between being critical versus being conspiratorial. Like there's a saying like don't ever let your mind be so open that your brain falls out of it. Like the idea that Too elections, me, so, especially yeah. caucuses, are being <laughs> uh, that are being like rigged, <laughs> I, I, that's a really dangerous and scary road to walk down because it like it, it opens you up to the possibility of being able to say that any time your candidate loses, I don't think if it's you... because the process was rigged. Anyone who looks at this logically and unbiasedly, there's no way you can call this rigged. What, what color am I? 
Whoa. Everything's logically explained. Pete had to do this for his, his move in Iowa so he could gain his, you know, snowball effect. Like, nothing about this even seems rigged. What, what in the you, beginning, I, like, it like, seems Moving really away from the Iowa caucus for a moment, like, how many times have we heard shit like, oh, this candidate's won. Oh, and then you find a truck with a bunch of votes in the back for another fucking right. candidate, and you have to recount it. I feel like you Wait, the in the United in the quite States? Often. No, yeah. this does not happen very what often. What makes the United States I'm not saying very often, else but, exactly but often like enough that it's, it should be a fucking Yeah, this problem, isn't right? unprecedented. It's, it's only happened over unprecedented in the sense that it's in an app, right? What color am I? Blit. What shield do you have shit before? I don't think we'd be talking about it at all if Bernie had won like in a devastating fashion. Nobody would be talking conspiracy on Buttigieg's behalf. That I know because everyone thought Bernie was going to win. Now that someone right. else's win and there was no, but I don't, I don't even know that I agree with that. If, 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 Bernie Sanders had won, if Bernie Sanders had won with 70% of the vote, I think a lot of people would be saying, where did that come from? Listen, this is what it is, Wes. If I'm standing next to a white guy and a cop pulls up and he shoots somebody and it's the white guy, we're all going to have some questions about what went on down here. Right? This is what happened. We thought Bernie was going to win. Okay. Buttigieg, no one fucking knew who this guy was. Wait, no why did the cop have to shoot a white guy? It's because that's not going to... That's yeah, what's relevant happen. to the example It's not unexpected <laughs> outcomes, Wes. Okay? I know this is a five-head take right now. Okay? What do you, 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 oh, you no, he shot a white guy! Take, guy. I'm I feel like bro. the expected outcome was Biden would be like in the top two or three. Who cares like, about Biden? Nobody screaming about that? Who cares about Biden? I don't know, people that take polls, I guess, because he's Please. been polling exceptionally well. And then when it came down to the voting numbers, he was down there. It, to me, wait, it, that you know, is absolutely absolutely he didn't put too much effort wait, wait, wait. into Iowa, did that he? That is absolutely not true. Yeah, no, Biden's poll numbers were like slipping pretty hard in Iowa before. Yeah. National polls and local polls are very different. Um, and, when and that Biden poll got leaked, he was still in the second place. Second place. Second, yeah, he, yeah, he, he was still in the second place, place, but he wasn't supposed to I win Iowa as a blowout at all. Being fourth is weird. It's embarrassing. Being fourth was bad. It was bad. Dude, was that the final I blame I blame yeah. Americans because they want to be progressive and they want to do it through an Whoa. app. They should go back the old way, put their votes in a box, and everything would be great. But you haven't listened to anything that was said. You're <laughs> the still state watching of top the, model. Yeah, Amy Klobuchar is You're still watching top model, right? Wait, no, yes. I kind of agree with him. Yeah, I think no, he's I don't actually know got a point. We're he? trying to no, no, no. Yeah, he actually does here. I don't know why we, we're trying we, to we modernize. Keep, I think modernizing it and turning it into apps and electronic voting just leads up to more issues uh, and like yes. possible ways people to get in. And you can't you can't say something's fucking rigged when it's written down on a piece of paper and all the pieces of paper are there, dude, right? Dude, Other dude, than people dude. took away a piece of paper or added in new oh, ones. That's way less than well, what actually right, right, right. 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 The app was just for reporting in this the case, case, Go ahead, David. The issue David. Is they're saying votes were transferred incorrectly what? to the to pieces of paper. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, what? I also think the fact that they reported the impartial results is fucking bullshit. Like the fact that they I don't reported know why sixty-two the percent of the that. impartial. Yeah, it's so fucking. Well, I, I know exactly why they would do it. Of course, they're they're just throwing the media a bone. Like, oh well, here's part of the results so that the media yeah. can go ahead and build a narrative out of it, right? That's well, my, that's if I it. had to guess, it's probably because they were my being very charitable towards Iowa. They were like under so much fucking pressure that they felt like they had to get something out, and that was like the most like reasonable like, so shit that they had to report. Well, about. yeah, because if they didn't release any results for multiple days, that would have been People fucked lose as well, did, right? Did they just? Yeah. this app as like an excel fucking spreadsheet then what was the point of having them paper votes and then importing the it into the app? Would have been well the, app, the app so basically you write down your paper Wait. votes on like oh. a fucking uh, piece of paper right mm. or, or, well they don't do paper votes they stand in a gym and then you write it down and the idea sure. was instead of like calling in on a phone line and reporting everything you could just type it into an app and that would automatically like add all the votes coming up or like tabulate it so it. unnecessary such a nuance to have involved at all well, like, it's not, it's, I mean, like, if you could do it, like, safely. Too many flaws. And, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go if you, ahead. you do it After safely. After Destiny, Airsoft, go ahead and Destiny, finish it. Yeah, if you could do it safely and securely, it would be a decent idea, but, like, you don't. Well, why? Why is it a necessity? Like, it's not a necessity. It. it would just make things a little bit more convenient. But but generally, when it comes to like elections, like what you're looking for are reliability and security, two things yeah. that technology yeah. oftentimes doesn't give you, especially if it's yeah. newer cutting the edge. The issues that arise from even trying it seem so much more drastic that it's like it doesn't seem worth it for the tiny sliver increase of effectiveness. For sure. Yeah, they, 100%. They started, it does work perfectly. They, they started this like up a year ago, though, was as well. I mean, like they've been working on this for a while. It wasn't like just something they just banged out. Three doing the app, and the regardless, was stupid. I, I just don't see the logic in doing it. It seems like a complete nuance and unneeded. Like, well, because again, it, it comes down to they just want to. They wanted to have a reliable system. There's this like insane. But that's that's like, where the irony lies. Equation, like just you to put, find you, out who's got the fucking delegates. You put the so, word you know, reliable when you're dealing with technology, which is susceptible sure. to so much. But when you've got a year to test so stuff out, right? There is no excuse. I mean, this is what I mean. It's like even if you don't buy the conspiracy theory. 
uh, you know, that, that Pete Buttigieg Please. benefits directly because of all oh. the financial ties. The incompetence is, is staggering. Dude, and, human uh, error also it, still exists. I mean, it's not like without the robots or the app, there wouldn't still be mistakes. I mean, people could fuck up just as much. And I think if you do get the technology down, that will be a much more reliable system in the future. Obviously, right now, it's not where it should be. But you're acting as if that it's like a completely idiotic idea to have the app. I think it's actually not a bad idea. It's just maybe right now it's not good. But again, human yeah, the, the implementation was bad. Maybe they should have tried it like in a smaller no scale or something. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, exactly. I don't like, like privatizing part of our elections. I don't like the idea that a private company can have that much influence over like the reporting of the results of a, an election. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I mean, it rubs yeah, me the wrong way. Also have there shouldn't be influence involved, though. Because the real issue is, should Iowa go first? The answer is no. Should there be a caucus first? The answer is no. Like, there's much. There's a whole bunch of stuff that is way Not more important that. than the app but, and the connection to Shadow. Yeah. yeah. See, the, the issue that people are trying to claim it's rigged because of Pete is bullshit because... I know it was the Biden, uh, Senator Kirsten the Gillibrand. Biden also, and Gillibrand, yeah. Yeah, I've worked with this Gillibrand. and there was no issues before. So why why are we suddenly believing just because Pete was a part of it that it was rigged? It's only because Pete it was an Bernie unexpected didn't result. Win. Exactly. It's not just because it makes Bernie no didn't win. It's because sense. Pete, in, in all the polling data in the build up to it, wasn't even top three. That's what right. I'm saying. It's completely unexpected. That's why people think it's, it's and, out and, of nowhere. And then, and then you have the financial ties to the app. And not only is he in a better position than before, he's actually won Iowa. Yeah, but which was unthinkable what... going in. There wasn't a single political pundit or expert that said, "Hey, my man Pete's got this." No one. But are we saying that, that he puts um, like a lot of his effort, is the core of his effort, into winning Iowa for the snowball effect, like for this to happen? Right. That was a big yeah, plan. And part of, it. of that obviously seems to be this this strange tie to Shadow Incorporated, which oh, I definitely no, think that's just not true at all. None I, I definitely think it's worth consideration. This, if we if we were to just look at it like so analytically removed from the whole Bernie narrative for a second. If I was to tell you that a political candidate that wasn't polling particularly high has financial ties to the company that's created the app that's collating votes and he mysteriously wins when all polling data had him at fifth or fourth at best uh, prior to that, you go, oh yeah, that sounds a bit fishy. Yeah, the that, because if you want to be like Alex Jones fishy. and build a conspiracy the the theory, you can build a conspiracy out of anything. Like we see this happen with Trump. Russia donates $10 million to Trump business. But then when you mm. click in, what it actually is, is like a subsidiary that has a 20% ownership of a Russian oil company Company, donated, you know, or, or, or paid for a service for five million dollars for a comp that's owned by a subsidiary, exactly. by, or the, like Trump. Like it's like, we, like if we want to go new, down like this crazy road of connections, like it's the political right. world. Tons of people are connected in a lot of different ways. It sounds a lot like of people probably probably please. come from Hillary's campaign. There's a lot of people that are probably still working from Obama's campaign. Like you can create like any conspiracy theory you want if you start. It like, sounds like headlines bullshit where people read a headline, yeah. believe it immediately because they don't look at the facts actually supporting the argument. Like, well, let's let's, let's, let's wrap it up and get our final things, and we're gonna move on. Wow! Poop, poop group, thank you for the hundred dollar donation. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> poop group reign supreme. Thank you very much, uh, Airsoft Fatty. I wanted to, you wanted to say something. You didn't get an opportunity to say anything, did you? Let's just be honest. Whoever wins, someone's gonna be pissed. There's gonna be hell raised. There's gonna be property destroyed. People are gonna die. It feels yeah. like Airsoft Fatty. <laughs> they are going to die no matter who wins. People are going to die. It's like one die. of those news <laughs> interviews. There's like a five-second delay. Airsoft Fatty. Yeah, I like, I like, I like okay, that outlook. Right. Well, thank you very much for your feedback. It's time now to vote for who you want to keep, not kick on the Raj Royale podcast. The person with the most amount of votes. Oh, that's not the straw poll. Here we go. Go ahead and vote. Vote for you want to keep, not kick. There you go. Keep, not kick. Person with the most amount of votes. We'll choose between the two lowest amount of voted people. Ah, uh. that was a fun chat. I, I learned a lot. I got to argue. Very informative. Yeah. That was a My Zoomer brain could not brain. pay attention to one Destiny diatribe or sentence, but I will tell you. Oh, what is your deal? Right what is your problem with Destiny? I don't understand. I don't have any problem with Destiny. I like Destiny a lot. He and I agree. On things that people would be surprised on but when he goes on for a while i'm just saying my zoomer brain what color you can't keep up wait how, how old are you i'm gonna be 22 in like 10 you're years. not a zoomer dude get over yes this i am shit. i was born no, in 98 not. zoomer is post 95 no you don't know what you're talking about boomer get out of here I'm not 98. true definitely definitely a zoomer yes Actually, all right true. david pacman hold on let's keep voting here please that is my name that is true. 
Um, actually, did you guys know that it does? There, there is studies that show that Zoomers are having problems with like memory or like attention span because of like having screen time so fucking much. Really? Yeah, why? That's not. That's not problem. surprising me at all. How fast I, we yeah, move. Yeah, it's like, definitely not surprising. Like, Zoomers are incredibly impatient. Like you can't. Wait, like we're born with ADHD. Yeah, within, like, I don't six watch years. Yeah. Time. I mean, you're born. You're literally like put in front of a screen your whole fucking life. Yeah. You're, you're you're engaging with like fucking like Twitter, Instagram, all this shit constantly. Like it, like I don't know, dude. It's it's pretty fucked. Dude, why like, why is that a bad thing? I don't know. I feel like we can multitask pretty well, absorb information quickly. Dude, I watch everything on two times speed and understand everything just fine. Because you can't have like an in depth talk about anything without just getting pissed right. off. That okay, here we go. Yeah. The winner of the, the winner of the poll, yeah. winner of the last round is actually. David Pakman. Congratulations, David. You have won the last round of the Raj Rao podcast. You must choose to eliminate one of two people. Killer Steven or oh, Mindwaves shit. TV. <laughs> oh, what the uh -oh. fuck? Uh -oh. Wait, hold on. What's going on now? Hold now, on a second. So, uh, so hold on. So, David, this is the Raj Rao podcast. Buddy. You have won the round, which means that you get to choose between the two lowest amount of voted people on this panel, which is Mindwaves TV and Killer Steven. So how the fuck did the shit. dude that didn't say shit the whole time get more votes than me? I'm fucked. I'm pissed. He's got a fan base. So, I mean, listen. So maybe, I, I, I want to. Both of them could make a yeah. compelling case to you, David, if you want, before you choose who you're gonna kick off. You know, I don't think I need that. Here, here's the way that I'm gonna approach it. I think I'm gonna go speeches, and because I don't, I don't know any of these people other than Stephen Destiny Benell the second, and he is not in the running here to be eliminated i am merely going to say the person with the lowest votes is off i'm going to be completely agnostic i don't want speeches i don't want lobbying and it's just got to be killer steven oh no okay all right you have decided to remove i was looking forward to killer argue. steven because he's got the lowest amount of votes uh let's see here one second I will look the at right the right. You guys never yeah. win the popular vote. Pac-Man. Like well, I'm sorry. You got eliminated from the show. Killer, Killer Steven Steve does have more delegates. Okay, so Thank I want you to put yeah. that in consideration. I was gonna say, let's let's pull up the app. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whose app is this? Who financed yeah, straw poll? This, this is bullshit. Yeah, Killer Steven. I'm sorry. Ties, about man. I'm sorry about your early departure. Um, I wanted to keep you around, cool. but I can't rig the show. Uh, but that's okay. It's time for you to go, Killer Steven. Go ahead and shout out your channel. Uh, Twitch.tv, Killer Steven. Uh, you know, I play some games, get drunk, talk politics, come hang out anytime. And he's a Thanks person with a face, right? Nice. I Glad. do have a face, yeah. allegedly. Yeah, thank you very much, Killer Steven. Appreciate <laughs> it. We'll see you at PAX, huh? No? Uh, probably not, but I'll see you at TwitchCon. Okay, I'll see you at TwitchCon. All right. Take nice it easy, Killer yeah. Steven. Pleasure. All right, let's move on to the next topic that we have on the day, and it's not a political topic, okay? I promise you. Thank you. Here we go. Fuck it's not yeah. political. Uh, David, you're going to have Please. to touch up on your Twitch knowledge here um, just because uh, it, this, out, is a a this is a Twitch-related topic. Um, Raj, fix your goddamn internet. What's wrong with it? You cut out like every just second. Robot it out for a hot second. Everybody's robot cutting. Is a uh, but it's Discord. It's not me, Dusty. It's Discord. It is you, right? Okay, here we go. Uh, there's a Twitch partner uh, named Cordell uh, received a, a suspension for emotes that breached the community guidelines. Uh, he actually was unbanned. The ban isn't the isn't the part that we're talking about here. Um, the emotes uh, had been previously approved by Twitch. Uh, the, the suspension uh, has been lifted, as I said. The emotes depicted a black baby in a toilet, a black baby in a bucket eating a slice of watermelon, and a small black child running in the nude uh, were the emotes um, that were uh, depicted on this channel. Uh, Cordell is, uh, an, I believe, an African-American creator. Um, let's, uh, I want to ask, are these emoticons uh, problematic? Uh, if anybody, uh, Chad, I know you had a, you were talking to me before the show about this topic. Do you want to start? Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, so first of all, I have a very unique experience on this whole Twitch and this whole American idea of what's okay and what's not in regards to black people in general, because I go get them. I myself grew up in West Africa until I was about 12 or 13 and I came here. And prior to that, I had no knowledge about the racial tensions of the world, right? I didn't know slavery happened. I didn't know that some words were bad. So when I first got here, if somebody said the N-word to me, I had no reaction to it. I didn't give a fuck, right? I was like, all right, cool. That's just another word, right? So when I look at these sort of examples, and I look at these situations, and I see that some things are considered bad or good, especially in realms of jokes, I find it to be a little ridiculous, and I find it to be a little counterintuitive to make certain things taboo, because I think that only gives them more power. I think what matters is... Shit, even if the intent is negative, like, if somebody is using a picture to try to hurt your feelings, I just don't think that's, like, a 
like a reasonable way to, to, to go about deciding what's okay and what's not. As a black person myself, I can understand why go get them. Some people would get frustrated with that, but I sincerely think that jokes are jokes and they're funny. And I think those, that's what those emotes were. I think it's bullshit for Twitch to ban him, especially after approving it. Okay, Twitch has done this before where they've made emotes approved and then turned back on it because they realized it was wrong. All I know all of you are going to sit here and try to make five head takes about the racial stereotype and him being a black dude and him not being able to do it or should be able to do it or shouldn't be able to. But literally the only reason this guy got banned is because he had an emote of a naked child, okay? Nowhere on Twitch would that ever be allowed ever. Nudity isn't even allowed. So technically that's like, you could, if someone could, you could argue that's just like fucking child porn, okay? There's, n that's the only reason the guy got banned. It has nothing to do with if there's- Do we, do we know that for a fact? Yeah, how, how do we no, know that? No, no. No, we don't know anything for a fact. I'm telling you because I'm smarter than you. Okay, so, so shut okay, up. Hold on, hold on. Wait, what is yeah, that? What about it's the fact that it's a hundred percent It's a naked fucking child. The black kid. What about that force in the email? I don't know. I think it was called Diglett Please or something like that. that which emo which no emotes got removed? Diglett Please. I think it was. Like no, no, no. Which? No, no. I'm asking you about this guy. Which? Which one of his emotes got removed? Or all? I think of them. it was just outright banned, dude. He was no, banned. He got unbanned. He was brought back. I'm. I don't know. What's his channel? What's his channel? It's Cordell, twitch.tv slash Cordell. I actually reached out to him. Dude, Diglett's just a poke. Hey, R D L L. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. The emote is called Diglett, please. It's like a little black kid being like, somebody's like holding his face, right? And they, they remove that because it's considered problematic. But Wes is saying, go get him. It was removed because of a naked baby. But, well, for son, but that emote that was the had biggest nothing to do with a naked baby. It was just because it was a black kid held in a quote unquote problematic you know, situation. You know what I'm saying? What, a black kid running is a problematic situation? You're talking about the black kid that was naked, all right? I'm talking about yes. Corson's Diglett Please emote, all right? That got I don't removed. I what that was. It's just yeah, a little removed... black kid getting held. What color? I'm just yeah, saying. They that remove emotes like that all the time. And it has nothing. You're saying that you're saying, let me, all right, let me make this super simple, okay? I understand what you're, you're saying. saying that no, you're saying I don't need Cordell's you to emote. <laughs> let me, listen to me. I know what listen you're saying. Okay, go ahead and repeat it. All right, just to go get him, we're clear. You're saying that Cordell's emote got removed because it was a naked baby. No, I'm saying that's why he got permanently banned. Right. And yeah. I'm saying- They that, all got removed, which is fine. I'm saying that Twitch removed the other emote that forced that, even though it had the kid not in any sort of situation like that. You know what I'm what? saying? You're talking about the one where he's holding the black kid's head and he's like, eh! That one? <laughs> yeah, somewhat similar to that one. It's like choking a child he's and he's, he's holding his cheeks. But anyway, that's how that's it looks. Semantic. What the fuck? How, would, um, how is that argument? Right, whatever. Let's just let other, 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 other Richard, I want you to get in on this because you, I think you had some opinions. Yeah, well, I, you know, I did, I I thought that this would be a bit more like people would be more leaning towards the ban thing because the the reality is that you know the, those those uh, emotes were certainly uh, racist, like some of the most racist emotes I've seen on the Twitch platform. And I get that. Okay, he's a he's a black content creator, so oh, you know, we we give we give him a pass on on using emotes that might be racially charged. But the problem you have with emotes is other people can use them in other contexts and other on other channels Bless. that you can't control. So, you know, for example, you know, we know we say it's okay for, uh, you know, black people to use the N-word, but if a black person wrote down the N-word on a sign and then gave it to a white person, the white person held it up in public, we wouldn't say, oh, well, it's okay because a black person created Wait, that, that sign. Work? That sounds like an awesome loophole. <laughs> yeah, I give you N-word pass right now. <laughs> That's, that no, is actually on, legally, uh, you know, uh, if you have any yeah, representation, I bet a lot of money. Raj, can I? I'm going to do it. No! Richard, you're right. I, I bet you that's probably the reason why the guy got banned in the first place. Like, yeah, now he's been unbanned. No which, so now we're saying uh, if a black content creator uploads an emote that is inarguably racist what? or racially charged or racially insensitive, uh, we're gonna give it. A, we're gonna allow that, even though white people can then go and use it's it in other channels other to racially disparage black content creators on this. It planet. Is absolutely is though. You think you think you right. think that he's not responsible for how people use his emote? Is that correct? Not at all. Listen, if somebody put up Tryhard no, and Tryhard himself just sees that emote as his picture of him just laughing, right? And then somebody uses it in a racial context. That's not Tryhard's fault. Go get him. How other people? No, but no one. No I'm one's... an artist. Listen, let me. I'm an artist myself. Trihex's face isn't picture? racist. A child yeah. in a bucket eating a watermelon 
I, like, do I need to explain it's that? Like, yeah. I, don't, I, don't. I uploaded that emo and I was like, look, dude, I have no control what other people do with it. I, when I use no, it, it's, it's not just, racist. One, no, no, no. One emo is just a black guy's face, and the other one's a black guy doing this sort of stereotypical black thing, eating a watermelon, and that's where the issue lies within, okay? Yeah. Because it's a racial stereotype in an emote versus just a black guy. You okay? guys They're are not enabling equating. this further. You guys are perpetuating the problem. If you didn't no, we're make explaining things... the problem. No, listen, I understand the problem very well, brother. If you didn't perpetuate it, it wouldn't be a problem. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me you understand the problem, Mr. Who came here at 12 and then just, like, just learning the problem in the last 10 years of your life? Do you think, as a black person in America, in 10 years of experience, I don't have experience with racism? Of you course you have experience with racism, okay, but I don't think- what the fuck are you talking about? I don't think that means that you know better than everyone else? What? Did I say that? David, I'll get you. I know better than everybody else. That's what you're saying right now, <laughs> that you know so better you because you happen to be well, black. I'd love to hear so David's internal dirty monologue, dirty monologue like, what the fuck, fuck am I doing? Well, that makes no sense. Hey, whatever, let's go. David, go ahead. Okay, so here's the deal. This one is really, really simple. Anytime any incident like this happens, what? everybody comes in with their enlightened analyses of, well, listen, you know, it's a picture of a toilet and in, in, in a vacuum, a toilet, or it's a picture of a kid or watermelon is a so it, it's anybody who exists in the real world and has any connection to popular culture, what? history, oh. society would understand that this is not going to be acceptable on Twitch. Now, we don't know. Was it the nudity? Was it the watermelon? and what what was it there is by any reasonable standard this would not be allowed if you don't think this should be the twitch policy you can lobby twitch to change the policy or you can start your own platform twitch is of course a private company and can decide what is and is not acceptable but the idea that we now have to debate like well what what if it was watermelon in a toilet but no kid like come on guys any reasonable person would understand exactly what the outcome is going to be and in fact there's lots of people who do stuff like this to later say well the person who did it was black but then a white person might have used it like come on guys give me a break so, so david but do you think it? Do you think it is problematic then? Uh, the emotes themselves. I mean, uh, Ch Chad seems to think. What, what, what's your answer? What would your answer be to what Chad alluded to and said he's not? He, the person doing these emotes would not be responsible for how people use them. I find that a, a wholly irrelevant argument to whether Twitch would say that they are or are not okay. Of course, anybody can put together something that they would be because of their identity. It would be less problematic in society for them to use it. And of course, anybody else could then take it and use it. But for me, that's not even remotely relevant to the argument here. Okay. Well, but but just okay. as a side as a side thing, just as a side topic on its own, independently. I find them I find them obviously insensitive and problematic, and I would never be caught dead putting something like that on the internet okay all right uh, uh can, I, ahead, Nick, can yeah. i say the obvious uh we're talking now for 15 minutes about the black kid with the watermelon the black kid with the toilet as if i want to ask Wes, richard and chad like what if it was a white kid why do oh, the God. black people always have to be the victims like okay. i find All the right, problem Nick. to what? be a kid no. in the oh, toilet oh, oh, <laughs> It's a genuine <laughs> question. You can at least entertain it, guys. It oh, it's a bit. He's doing a bit. Doing a bit. Your candy land, but no. also a racist no. or just stupid? No, I'm not I don't racist. know. I, I want to finish my sentence. Can I not get attacked? Like, go ahead, go ahead. I, I just, I just. You get attacked for saying stupid things. That's how it works. Well, oh, yeah. you know better. Take one. Fuck two. your so, sentence, shut up. bitch. Let me, let me just finish. Oh, okay, That's relax, guys. So, Come like, on, Wes. I was saying that you guys keep discussing how the black kid is in a toilet and stuff. Like, like, would it be okay if it was a white kid? Would you be okay with that? But that's not that? the conversation no. we're having the here. Is we're not the no, it's still not okay. But uh, obviously, these are promoting racial stereotypes, especially yeah, the so watermelon one. You're making it the about... One's a naked kid and the other one's a baby in a precarious situation. Well, well, yeah, you're, you're making it about racism oh. because you talk about the color. I'm not raking it about racism. Holy you're shit. You're racist and a homophobe. That's what you oh. are. Okay. What? Oh, okay. Wait, no, 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 no. okay. I don't know if it's a bit, but like, no, wait, wait, wait. stop attacking me when I'm speaking. Uh, okay. No, no, no. no. Hey. Pretty it, hey. Stop calling me Candyland. Stop calling me Candyland. Okay. Okay. Well, you remind me of her a lot. Okay. You're just as dumb as her. Okay. Whoa. Wow. Come on. Now, I'm not not even you, here, can't wait, you can't equate this stupid. if if it was a white if it was a white person. You can't equate that, right? Like white people Why aren't not? a prejudiced group. White people aren't discriminated based off the color of their skin. At least not widely in society, right? We we 
have no shared understanding of like what like what sort of like white stereotype would you include of like a white baby in a bucket like a white baby in a bucket wait, like with what like like what would the stereotype mayonnaise. be i don't even know what that would Golfing. look like <laughs> yeah with mayonnaise there you go yeah like, like how fucking offensive would that be dude like yeah i'm would would devastated know. if i saw that mate i'd be fucking that'd be me on, yeah. on, on I mean, a yeah, so when we're, cool when we're comparing it to a black child in a bucket with watermelon when this is a stereotype what? that's been used since slavery to like like literally keep black people down in society is that true that's that's when it, it becomes yeah. an issue well, right after slavery the watermelon well, thing is, all I'm is saying slavery? is slavery who, who says it it was used the it was used watermelon that. was when people when slaves got out of slavery they started growing watermelon and this mm. became a racist trope explaining gotcha. like laziness uncleanliness uncleanliness childishness and unwanted public presence so there's your historical context nobody told us to be mad about x y and z that was my whole point. That was the whole point of my anecdote at the beginning. If nobody told me to be mad about X, Y, and Z, I wouldn't be. But keeping things and telling people to be mad about it only continues to give them power. If so no, the problem, no, that the pro go explain. Go ahead, okay, go ahead. Let me real. Is that it's a systemic problem, right? When this is drawing right. back to these ideas that it's associated with laziness, things like that, that is the problem because there is that's where we have those problems where black people are less likely to get just called back for job interviews it has real systemic implications and while people who are engaging in these racist actions may not realize it they are realize it they are reinforcing these systems and yeah. that's the problem I whether think or not they even realize how it that like counteracts my point but it's all right we can and it can I ask you a question well because when you say so, that when you say that it kind of sounds like you're saying like oh well i haven't faced this sort of like discrimination or i haven't seen this be a reality in my life therefore I, like i, I don't okay, know why it's a big deal or if other people weren't offended yeah, i wouldn't know to be offended right but like i do explain experience this shit and that's why i can say all right I do experience that, and that's why I can say, if no one told me what the N word was, if no one told me to be mad about it, I wouldn't be, as I wasn't. Well, sure. yeah, but we don't but live in a vacuum knows in already. society, and right? We already know that we live we in we, we live in a country where like a thing, right. We know because it keeps being held up as a thing. And like, how do we change it if we don't? Well, talk yeah, about because it? exactly, it's not about we have not to like. About it. It's, not, it's just about not. But that's what you're saying. It. Talking about it is propagating it. It's worsening the problem. How else do we fix the problem? You can talk about it as a thing of the past. You can talk about it as what it was, but you but can it's not a thing of the past. It's happening right but now. It's still Let me explain to you. Let me explain today. to you. You can now reform the idea. Go get him. Go get him, Tiger. The idea around it that listen, this is just a word, all right? And you can choose how you react to it. If somebody is going to say something, I'm not going to have an emotional reaction to it that easily. That's just giving them more power over me. That's bullshit. Yeah, but and this is the idea that the people way, can overcome oppression just by being stoic, right? By just by by just like realizing your emotions or being like super fucking mindful that you can like overcome like systemic race racism by just like being what being stronger, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. Like no, like the fact is is that like this sort of like um, prejudice, this sort sort of like racial discrimination affects people on a day to day basis, right? Um, this isn't something that people can just escape by like being more aware of their actions and just not reacting to the racism. Um, like I don't, I don't and, know. I just agree, just it also has nothing to do with what Twitch policy like, should be. If one person can be like, I'm stoic enough yeah. not to feel bad about this. Oh, Airsoft uh, Fatty, and, and, and just one second, Airsoft Fatty. Let's get, can I let uh, Airsoft Fatty get in real quick? Wait. Richard, he's been trying to. Speak. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, and, then, yeah. and then go ahead, Richard. Go ahead, Airsoft Fatty. Go ahead. The problem is these days, too many people are letting stuff offend them. Don't give shit power, and there's no reason to be offended. Okay, this is. It I hate this fucking argument so much. It's been oh, limited in power since the offended. beginning. Can I please talk? It's, take it's, there. Everyone, I, I, I used to say, right. think the same way, Fatty and Anarchy. And then I learned that it's not what the it's not the words themselves and the power the person hearing the words gives. It's how these powers are used to further systemic racism and oppression. It is where the issue lies within. Okay, that's the yeah. actual issue. Yeah, I, I was just going to say like uh, to, to Aniki, the, the reason, you know, because I'm an, I'm an immigrant in America too, right? The oh, reason what? it has, like a, it occupies a much broader uh, space um in 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 the american psyche is because of their history so you know they they they, they come over they, straight into a genocide they segue you know of the indigenous people they segue into slavery 
And because of how the society has been tiered from the okay. from that inception, there's a lot of uh, systems in place as a result of that that have okay, issues. You know, points, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, you know, for example, if you go and look at the disparity of wealth between. Sure. Um, you know, black people in America and white people in America per average household. Sure. You know, there's 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 a lot of catch up that needs right. to to occur, and this is why Americans, you know, do have this kind of you know preoccupation right. and uh, about right. it because right. it's it's no, not. There's, there's, there's no catch up. Let me just say two what, things, what, all right, what, and then we can go next, right? One, I just think it's fucking hilarious how quiet Destiny's been on this topic because I know everybody would come for his neck if he, if he even sees. Two, my point about it is, I feel like. And after discussing this with several of my black friends who have different opinions of me, okay, I will acknowledge this. The systems that are in place that are going to make me less likely to, say, become a billionaire, less likely to get the same job as somebody who is, say, equally or even underqualified than me because of the scans, all right? Those are all going to be there whether or not I choose to be offended by the word, okay? Those are still in place. Those don't go away because the word is decided. If everybody stops saying the N-word today, right, those systems are still there. They aren't going to go away. Go get them because of the fucking word not being there, so, all right? So if the word is still there and people are still using it in a bad way, I'm still fucked. I'm just gonna choose to not be as fucked because of that thing I can control. And the and one thing I can control there, yeah, what's up, bro? I, Go ahead. I agree uh, in that sense, but it's more than just being triggered or not being triggered or getting offended or not getting offended. It's how that you use it, if it does bother you, how you use it to instill change is why I, I think it's valid to feel this way about the word. Listen, that's because fine. I'm not right. going to break the sense. Sense. Well, no one's denying there's, there's no need to break the catch up. There's need for catch up. There's what also. There's no need to break the catch up. You want to check it out? One at a time. One second. One second. What do you mean there's need for catch up? One second. Fatty, could you clarify what you just said? I said no one's denying that there isn't. There's no denying there isn't a need for catch up. Obviously, there's been a lot of setback. Well, I'm a bit behind on this. I, but make, it's so focused on the hate part of it when you need to focus on the system part. Of it. But, okay, Rue, did you want to speak? We absolutely do need to focus on the systemic problems. I heavily agree with that. Part of that is not allowing these words to be used as slurs and dehumanizing people and justifying these ideas that black people are this or that, right? They're the N word and all of the implication that goes into that word. I know a lot of people just want to say, well, don't don't allow it to have that implication. Well, you were telling one person to, to do that and you were fighting a very losing battle, which we're fighting a, a difficult battle getting rid of this word as well, but. Let. You're never going are. to convince everyone to stop being bothered by the word, but it's you're going to have a lot easier time to convince people sure. to fight against this word and like be a product of that or be a part of that change against right. the and word. And the more important thing whatever. isn't just the like word. Stuff. It's okay. not just the word and that's how we react to it, though, right? Right? It's also about the time. Time. Hold on, hey, hey, hey. Into the systems. David, right. go ahead. Yeah, so listen, I, I think that we're getting like th maybe three to five layers removed from what the core issues are here. We're on like systemic racism. We're on if any individual knows Stoic philosophy and would be able to in their life withstand that in order to find a good job. And like these are all completely and totally relevant issues. But if the real question here is, was it reasonable to expect that you would be you would have a problem with Twitch if you put these emotes up, which I think was where we started? The answer is, how can anyone argue anything other than obviously yes? I don't disagree Welcome with you, to not. the Raj Royale. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I David, I, I would even argue, I would even argue, the, the, the emotes Nick, itself Nick is not just, it's not just, it's not just, it's not just a, like problematic or offensive, sorry, but like, like it's, it's also about furthering like stereotypes, right? Like stereotypes that are used against black people to like uh, discriminate them all, against them all the time, right? There are people that get discriminated in the workplace because uh, people have like this idea that dreads aren't like uh, bu business-like, for instance, or that dreads are dirty and stuff like that, right? When you, when you're what? sharing an emo of a, ch a child in a bucket with watermelon like i don't care who you are i don't care if you're black you're furthering the stereotype right like regardless nick nick yeah. Tron, did you want to say something that's yeah I, I want to say something to and this like uh as as an outsider from america someone who specs who spectates this like uh what you guys are describing uh this racism against black people I'm, like it's horrible i'm sure to live with with it but like uh as an outsider what i see is you guys are talking about it more than you should and you're giving it more weight i see a lot of black people Why do successful. I, have the same take as this I see them on on hollywood i see them thriving and i see what? them 
doing better than white people at many aspects. Oh my god. Think, no. okay. Okay. Here's no. The no, wait, I think I think you're discrediting okay. I think you're discrediting everything uh, black people have achieved over the years by giving what? so much weight to something like that. For example, I didn't know the watermelon thing, you just said it, but you're making a huge deal out of it and it should stop being a stereotype and it's just a stereotype okay. Okay. Great. 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 I love it. Let's right. just end the stereotype okay. and then we're fine. Yeah, yeah you Genius, guys Nick Tron. Nick Tron. Nick Tron. I would love, love if we could do that. But the problem is the Wait. states has shoved this problem down and shoved this problem down so goddamn much. That is why we are here today, right? So Germany had a problem and they talked about it. Whoa. They made it their Whoa. job to educate about the problem. Whereas <laughs> we are over here and I didn't learn that much about slavery in school. I didn't learn about our history. I didn't learn about these systemic problems. And now we are still fighting these systemic problems and they are not getting much better. They're just getting softer in the way we talk about them. So we need to be addressing this problem. You can't in any sense just ignore a problem and expect it to go away. And the fact that you're talking about black people in Hollywood Yes, it is good that we are getting more black people in Hollywood and we even had a black president, but these people are still the exception and the reality that they are the exception is part of that problem, showing us that it is still a problem. So I think like from from a really simple point of view, this is how I kind of look at like certain insults is that like if you're targeting a certain group of people based on some aspect that you wouldn't want them to feel targeted on, you probably shouldn't be engaging in that type of humor. So for instance, um, th there's two important things. That's the first thing to keep in mind. The second thing to keep in mind is that like everybody in this call is somewhat of an exceptional person. And when I say that, what I mean is most of the people in this destiny. call are probably capable of dealing with more abuse than the average person. I don't think anybody in here can deny that. As streamers, we deal with an inordinate amount, possibly even an inhumane amount of abuse. And I don't know if it's necessarily fair to expect the average person to be able to deal with the insane levels of shit that we get. Um, also, it's important to keep in mind, everybody has a different experience with a, with, with a particular disadvantaged position that they might have. You know, um, a, a gay man's experience with being gay Please. in San Francisco is going to be a lot different than like a gay man man's experience being gay in like nebraska Daytona. or you know idaho or, or or whatever some other you know really rural state that has a lot of anti-gay people um i don't know if idaho counts that but um <clears throat> to, to to try to superimpose like your view of the world and to say well since i don't get upset at this thing i don't think anyone else should get upset at this thing is like that's a nice prescription like it's a nice desire like yeah nobody should get upset at any particular word but the reality is that a lot of people have heard these words in different contexts that make them like have like a very visceral reaction to them so if we talk about putting in an emote that furthers like a stereotype that basically targets a very specific group of people that might have experiences with these words in real life that make them have like kind of shitty responses to it i think like as a community that shouldn't be something that we champion right like i want more black people or women or whatever like on twitch if for no other reason because it grows my audience and the idea that you can walk walk into a stream as a, say, a black person, and then all of a sudden, you know, someone's like, man, I hate poor people or something, and then 50 million black babies and toilets are spammed in the chat. I imagine that even if that doesn't affect you, there's probably some black people watching are like, oh, shit, like, that feels kind of shitty or kind of weird. I don't know if, like, I'm in a fucking KKK meeting or some shit, or it's just a bunch of dudes that are just clowning on each other. You know, like, it's hard to tell. And then there's the other fact that, like, there are some percentage of people that do engage in these jokes that are actually fucking racist, you know? Sure. Like, I, there are some people that, you know, and this is a huge other discussion whatever like there are some people where like they say racist jokes or whatever and it's like okay like oh, yeah. like i know you like it's probably funny whatever but then there are other people that say it and it's like hmm i don't know that's not very cool you know there's a big difference between like louis ck you know saying some racist joke where he says the n-word versus like kramer you know when he went off michael richards right was his name when he went off right. on stage saying yeah. the n-word like these are two really different things um and, and when you put those types of emotes out there that empower like racial humor they can be used by people on twitch that are like very racial in, in terms of how they view things in a, in a bad way so i, I don't know i think that's why we should saying, try to like stay away from those types when of it things. comes to wes Lumi, dave i think his name was and yours is mm -hmm. jake i'm not saying that's completely invalid all right sure i'm just saying and again sure different people have different experiences but in the experience mm -hmm. that is the context of this in that somebody using a word or a stereotype or etc against you in a negative or malignant go get a malignant way mm -hmm. I didn't experience with that. and though maybe i may process and experience that differently i think that my stance on it is also just as valid of a way to go about it 
for you yeah it is but like the thing is is that you don't lose anything i don't think like by people being like maybe we shouldn't have like this form of humor whereas like a lot of people kind of do lose out a little bit on their experience um by by having that type of humor on, on the platform i think um like I, like um you know trihex has talked about this a lot in terms of how he feels about the trihex out like it feels and this used to be a thing in a lot of twitch shows i think a lot of people have finally banned it um not that i think that's a good or that bad thing but like it, it must feel shitty there must be some black people out there that go to a stream and then somebody steals something from somebody and the streamer mentions on like, like oh that fucking thief and then out of nowhere everybody starts spamming tryhard like that's got to leave some people feeling like, mm, I, yeah. I don't know. How I if you want to, if you want an example of that, there's a feel that way. Then why would there's, they a, there's a hot stone? Well, because when you're a community Tyrant with like when, when you're a community yeah. with like 95 percent white people and yeah. all of them are joking like that, I mean, like that's got to like again, like maybe for you, like for me, I it the stuff like this doesn't bother me. I mean, as a white person, but like even if I'm like in an all Asian community or whatever, like I, I don't get bothered by this either. And I imagine I don't think you're lying. I don't think I'm not accusing you of lying. Like you probably don't get bothered, and that's really right. cool. But you've got right. to admit, there's got to be a lot of people. Like if you were to bring like certain black friends onto Twitch and you try to show them, and then you go to some stream and no, people get tight. try no, hard. Get that. Yeah, it'd be like well, fuck. Like well, that's kind of that shitty. I get it. Listen, I'm not. I'm just saying that I really do believe that the reason people are upset about it is because they've been taught to be, and I think that's not a healthy way. To <laughs> okay. Talk. Well, but, like what? Oh, oh yeah, exactly. Well, I was gonna say like here's so here's something here's something that maybe Twitch chat can relate to, right? So like let's say that we have like an insult, like incel, right? That people use, you know? Like <laughs> it could be easy. Like no, yeah. So it could be easy to be like, hey, like you shouldn't get triggered by, you know, what? incel is an insult, um, because you know, just getting triggered by it gives it power. But when you call somebody an insult, you know, to certain people, this might actually be evocative of a lot of like really terrible real life what? shit that they have to deal with on a daily basis. Um You're you know, much still the same going? with like Oh, yeah. wow. Um, so, so, yeah, so, like, much the same with, like, any type of, like, disadvantaged group or whatever. Wait. Like, I, for, I don't think for, like, black people or whatever, it's nobody cares that, like, somebody just says a bad joke. It's that in conjunction with all the other shit you deal with that just kind of, like, reinforces that idea that, hey, like, you're black. You don't really belong here. Like, we are going to joke about you in ways that we don't really joke about white people because that's just the kind of humor that we do because this is, like, a 95% white platform. Sure. This I mean, I, I, I understand where you guys are coming. Anyway, Richard, go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, no, this is not much really to add. And, and as I said, it's a quintessential Raj Royale podcast because we've covered Twitch bands, the N word. The N -word. Like, yeah, I was going to say, we have not women covered streamers the is just round the corner, boys. So I, 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 I feel like the subject's fucking played out. People have Richard, different perspectives. We have not I think covered Nikki's the valid. Today. I think this is different. This is no, yeah. This sorry, is my cool. bad. It all, but any time a topic of race on the platform comes down, it degenerates to the lowest common denominator, which is you know, why <laughs> can't white people I, say we're not focusing this, this, on the band? It's this is so not fucking outrageous. This is not well, we were really close when somebody asked, "What about a white kid in a toilet?" We almost got to it. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, it was nearly <laughs> coming. Dude. It was nearly coming. I can sense it. Well, I've got a fresh it. new topic. It's coming, Richard. It's something you've never heard on the Royale, but let's take a vote. Oh, I can't wait. Let's take a vote here. Vote for who you want to keep, not kick. Keep not kick. The poll is oh, in shit. the chat. Um, here we go. Go ahead and vote for who you want to keep not kick in the straw poll. Raj, keep you really kick. need more conservatives, dude. You need to try harder with this. We, shit. They keep, I bring saying. conservatives on here and they get kicked off. Nobody votes for them. Ask. You need I, to give conservatives automatic double votes. Yeah, like you I give bring, them a first round people, immunity, dude. That's people what you complain do. Round all immunity. the time, Raj. You don't have enough conservatives on your show, and they always get eliminated. Always. Look, look. You need to change it. There has to be some way that they can be safe for a while. You know, I got because an idea they, for once conservatives. Once they piss enough people off, they will fucking people will vote for them to stay. Because what chat loves more than any hot takes or correct takes, they love someone who can really fire everyone the I fuck know, up. I know. Well, they keep. Yeah, you're right. We need to find somebody. I guess. You're right. No, we're not. But Raj, like, I when was it that politics became the meta, dude? When was it? I hate I this mean, fucking I meta. I have I no idea. So well, I don't know. It's because you can only. Can we you, talk about you can only realize again? You, you can make yeah. money you can drifting only, you can by just listen. repeating what people already think. <laughs> you, yeah, you know, true. That was that was when politics became the meta. Like you know, I, I just see but, so many so fucking easy, political grifters now. Who literally, just they sit I mean, there. Their something. audience comes on and goes, "Oh, I think this," and then they go, "Hey, I but, think this too," and that's the right way to think because here's a cherry picked example. <laughs> Richard, this is amazing. We think the same. Have some money. It's fucking garbage. I was the original politics guy in this shit. Fuck the that. original grifter. Remember original conservative politics destiny? Guy. People I'm grift here to be like me, okay? Nice try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck out of here. That wasn't a dig aimed at destiny, by the way.
Oh, we get it. You're still clear. bitter. That wasn't a dig at Steven. Okay, here we go. We move past our the white votes in David Pakman. And, uh, you won barely. <laughs> You Wait won barely now, okay. the, first, the round again, but the rules are, David, that you can't vote two rounds in a row, so one person can't control the narrative too much. I love it. Destiny, you're in second place, which means that you get to vote off somebody from the podcast. It's between Nicktron and Mindwaves TV. One of them is going to be eliminated from the show. Why are you shocked? All right, <laughs> let's hear it. Ever. I feel discriminated. Like, okay. Oh, God, God, just take off the white dude that wants to say so the end. Nick, Nick Tron, let me call you out real quick. Hold on, hold on. Everyone, hold the fuck up. Nick Tron, I want to call you out real quick, buddy boy, guy bud. You remember when you were complaining about black people being the victim all the time? Every time someone disagrees with you, you pull this pussy ass victim card. You're a fucking hypocrite off my show. Okay, hold on. Wait, Nick. Look, he, Wes. Look, Wes. Right? I don't need a white knight, all right, buddy? You I don't need a white knight. Hold on. Mind waves. Mind waves. Give your case to Destiny for staying. I don't need to give a case, all right? Like, I'm the only one here giving good good we'll opinions, all right? So just keep me, all right? Nick, that's Nick Tron, your turn to give a case to Destiny why he should keep you. Well, he should keep me because I shouldn't be punished for my opinions. I, I feel attacked right now, clearly. Okay. All right, Destiny. Who are you going to eliminate? Do, do the right thing, From dude, the Rosh Royale podcast. Um, well, listen. Um... <laughs> I'm actually so Come on, dude. By don't you want to blow it up? Don't do make me listen to I'm not, I'm not, I'm not for another <laughs> fucking 20, 30 minutes. But fuck ignore, sake. ignore Raj's team. I'm not DMing him. I'm not. I promise. You have to kick Destiny. I have I not mean, you have to kick him at all. Um, yeah, fuck. Okay, the, the Nicktron guy is really not. <laughs> fuck you! Get off my goddamn tree! Don't you ever show your fucking face that again! Uh, <laughs> Nick Tron, wow. you've been eliminated oh, Lord, on the dude. Raj Royale podcast. I am so sorry. Uh, go ahead and shout out your channel. Okay, before I do that, Wes, I just want to know you're a horrible human being. And, Wes, come on. Yeah, and what? Raj, you're a queer baiter. And oh, I'm what? a queer baiter? What is happening? What is that? Yes, you're a queer baiter. Excuse and I'm me? Done. Literally, that girl with the bad what hair the... over there didn't it's, even talk. What do you mean a queer baiter? What do you mean call me a queer baiter? What? what does that even what mean? What is a queer baiter? You're literally oh, baiting the gays on this. You court. think Just I'm say... dating the baiter? You think I'm, ga you Wait, think I'm is baiting this gays? Really? really? He uses identity politics reason? only when it benefits them and doesn't give a shit about identity politics for anybody else? Oh, no. No, You don't know my life? You literally said you engaged in sexual activity with the doorknob. Just before the show, so don't give yeah, me any Who cares action. what? Wait, it was a joke. Okay, but don't how does that have action. anything to do with my sexuality? Hold on, Nick. Hold on, I have to call up Nicktron one more time. The guy called me a homophobe. Now claiming Raj is a fake gay. Good job, Nicktron. You're looking you're no. looking real well right now. Okay, I'm done. Twitch TV, Nicktron. At least I spoke my mind. And Get if you guys want to be like narrow-minded, get, narrow <laughs> get wrecked. <it>. So done. <laughs> get out of here. Fuck out of my face. It's like a mix between Candyland, uh, fucking Casey Tron, but also a piece of shit at the same All right, time. For the That's record, impressive. I did not fuck my doorknob, okay? I want to make that very clear. First, did it's you actually with the cupcakes and now I, I mean, did even not if you ride, did, it's okay. okay. I made a joke. Why would he bring even that up did. then, Raj? I made, a joke that I, that I made a joke that I, like, rode my doorknob or something along those lines. And you don't even ride a doorknob. Door You're just okay, hold on. Raj, I'm calling you out. You might be a fake gay because you use a doorknob to gape I did It was a joke, dude. It was a joke. You lube up a doorknob and it goes in and out, in and out. Then you got a big-ass butt hole. Why wouldn't you just use a butt plug, dude? I've never because actually bought them. It's more dangerous. There's a lot of germs on doors. Okay. Wait, Did you do we actually have any proof after? that Raj is gay? Yes. <laughs> but trust me. Oh my, oh my god. god. I mean, okay, hey. look. Hey, I've seen quite a bit. Yo, Kappa Prize, where are we at? D Destiny, do I need to give you a blowjob? Like, I don't understand. Like, what, what do you need me to prove? <laughs> what's the... What's wow, the being gay is just about the sex, Raj? Wait, Dude, that that's, that's not... Oh, that's, Jesus. Wow. What is the... What is the... What, is, what would be the incentive for me to fake my sexuality all right. anyway? Go ahead, Pete Patel. What's the next topic? Oh, okay, <laughs> come on. All right. Here we go. The... Your grinder account has been hacked. The, uh... <laughs> the, the next topic is there's a Wisconsin teacher, um... Uh, that has been suspended for tweeting that he hoped conservative radio host Rush Limbaugh suffers a painful death from cancer. The tweet reads, Rush Limbaugh absolutely should have to suffer from cancer. It's awesome that he's dying, and hopefully it will be as quick it, as, as it is painful. So, uh, if anybody <sighs> doesn't know who Rush Limbaugh is, he's a notorious uh, 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 conservative, would you call him a conservative? Um, Political uh, commentator or has a radio show uh, 
Wow. On and he often makes a, he historically has been very controversial, made a lot of inflammatory remarks. Um, so a lot of people are on Twitter uh, very happy about this diagnosis that he's received. So I want to know, um, first of all, if you thought the tweet was worthy of a suspension, and then that uh, the other part of this, which is you know what you think about people uh, celebrating the illness of Rush Limbaugh. We can go so, ahead and start with whoever wants to go. I, I got a hot take on this real quick. Uh, so first of all, I think in general, I don't like the way society is moving towards like if somebody that you think is reprehensible, um, you can't sort of gloat about their their death or or their, their, you know they're being ill. Like we're kind of adopting this idea you must never speak ill of the dead, no matter what heinous shit they do. I think that's really fucking stupid and whack. I think um, I think it's perfectly acceptable. I mean, it's interesting that there was a lot of like lefties that couldn't wait when Kobe. Bryant died to like bring up stuff from his past and you know 10 minutes before, after in fact uh, nobody sort of had an issue or pontification about it people saying oh Rush Limbaugh deserves cancer all these right wing snowflakes are all up in arms you know crying about it and saying how dare you uh, but, the, but the reality here is should she have been suspended well yes ab absolutely uh, because if you're a teacher, there's certain positions, I think, where, for example, there could be a child in the class whose parents might be suffering from cancer, might want to confide in a teacher. They might now feel that's off the off the table what? as a result of yeah. these kind of things that are going on. I think you sort of have to think about what you say publicly, yeah. uh, politically and sensitively if you are a teacher. And just on the final thing as well, Raj, the characterization that Rush Limbaugh is controversial is absolute nonsense. He said unequivocally and inarguably racist things in the past. He told a uh, a, a, a black woman who called into his show one time to take the bone out of her nose. He's a piece of shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's fuck that nothing guy. compared to what Brush Finball is actually exactly, saying. Exactly, dude. He's fuck a him. fucking Shumbo. animal it's cunt. Horrifying. Yeah, he said some of the most fucked up shit other. He called. He's he's backtracked on a ball of it, but he's called he called like Barack Obama the magic N word. Like this guy so, is fucking insane. So the, the crazy shit he said. I do have one take that might be a little bit like. No, uh, like Wes, I didn't you have like an it. opposite take to Richard in some ways? Like you, you. No, my, it's the same. I mean, what's so wrong about shit talking somebody who's done horrible things just because they're fucking dying? If fucking Hitler was still around and he had cancer, would people be mad if people were talking shit about him for dying just because he has fucking cancer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sucks that good people get cancer, but I don't think it's such a bad thing when bad people get cancer. Okay. I think it's pretty fucking awesome. Okay, Bye. Chad, go ahead. Um, I mean, I don't disagree with anybody here. I just think that it's a little weird that when people go after people on the internet, say to cancel or say to, say people are mad at Rush Limbaugh because they're quote unquote good people, right? People are mad at Rush because of the shit he said. And I agree. I fucking, I don't fuck with that dude at all. However, I think if you're going to take that position where you are sanctimonious, where you are holier than that, where you are the good person in this scenario, I don't think there's any reason for somebody that's a good person to say to be actively calling for somebody's death or to actively be celebrated. Now, mind you, there are extreme examples. I know how every fucking debate or discussion has to bring up Hitler at some point, right? But I just, think, perfect example. I, I just think that if you're going to be the person that's going to taking the high road and is mad at somebody for being vitriolic and is you're mad at somebody for saying awful shit, you shouldn't also say, go get him. You shouldn't also say awful shit in return. But that's a little, that's like, that's not in support of him in any well, way. Anarchy, we're not hoping Wait, so he gets quick, cancer. Quick, so the, we're just happy the, he's going to die. Of the, the, the defense to that would be that, like, it's okay to get mad at somebody for saying, like, awful shit when that awful shit is, like, uh, maybe, like, racist or attacking, like, hate speech, like a group of people that don't deserve to be attacked. And then attacking a person for being racist isn't the same as attacking, like, a race of people. That would be, like, the, the response to that, right? I'm not going to lie. I, I, I think as well, that. it's great if you can extend and show compassion to someone like Rush Limbaugh, despite all his failings. I just don't think it should be a necessity. I don't think it should necessarily be no, the default course. position. Because if, sure. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we call like civility on, uh... politics, right? This is the idea that like, um, all right, guys, like you know, we can all get along. We need unity. Like, let's not get, let's like, let's not be like too uncivil in like our rhetoric and stuff like that. Um, I think it's just bullshit. Um, Do you people think the only teacher should have been suspended this... for her comments? Uh, yeah, of course. Man, I if you're a teacher, you can't be on to... fucking Twitter yeah. talking no, about your happy dude is fucking kids. dying. Like, it's that's just a like, lot. Like Richard said, why not? Why? How is that a conflict of interest? Go ahead, go ahead, mind waves. State your opinion. I, I don't I don't I don't see that as being like, like necessarily like a conflict of interest, right? Because like, you're teaching I, I children to cheer when bad people die of cancer. It's you don't okay. have that right to teach children to do things that vile. Yeah. If you want to do them, go for it. It's kind of just to, in this to situation. What, to what level are we policing teachers' political speech? 
Like, uh, like, like, this isn't I, I, what, I, I think it's one of the jobs David, where you should be you. as uh, as apolitical as possible yeah. because you're going to have kids coming from different what? families, different backgrounds, different political perspectives. We know parents groom their kids politically. This is why you get generational voting blocks. It happens both on the left and the right. Um, so obviously if you're a teacher and you can be, you don't know what role you're going to play in a kid's life. It could be very standoffish. We all know stories of, you know, kids who don't have a great home life where teachers go the extra mile to help. And for some kids in abusive homes, actually a teacher is an out. Extracurricular stuff at school is an out. Now, if you're going to be deliberately isolating, um, with things that you're saying publicly and, and, and the children you teach are aware of this, I think that's problematic. I just think teachers should try and be as apolitical as possible, as non-controversial as possible, and as open and inclusive as possible. No, but this is like kids. a reality that we don't live in. Everybody, all the teachers at your high school, I guarantee you, um, are like a p politically affiliated in some way, right? Like, or, or like, I no, I'm not, I'm not saying you... I'm not saying they're not politically. Obviously, they're human beings. Well, yeah, They've the only thing opinions, that matters is like saying this how is they the influence job. the Put class. Put it this way, right? If you were a Trump day, supporter, right? okay, and you were getting surgery, and you would you went and ch you somehow right. found the surgeon's fucking uh, Twitter, and he was going, I fucking hate. Trump supporters and I hope they die and he's going to slice you open tomorrow. How are you feeling about it? There's some jobs where you should just keep that fucking shit off the internet. I wouldn't want to go and get surgery or any form of medical care from that crazy demented Eugene Goo that's first to reply to all of Donald Trump's tweets. He's a fucking mentalist. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want him anywhere near me. So, uh, you know, you have to think about there's certain jobs where that shit mm. should just be off the table because there has to be an assumed impartiality. I don't think just because of their views means they're going to like fuck you up or they're going to be less out quit and doing their jobs just because they have what you consider crazy political views i think the issue lies within is what you're teaching these you know sponge minds of children oh, you, you yeah. don't have the right to che teach children things like this D david that's that's well yeah question. but this teacher didn't say this in the classroom Turning right he just said it on his on his twitter profile answer. right and like okay. unless he's like giving his twitter profile to his students which you shouldn't be doing already like, like, I, I, like, unless he's influencing the classroom or like teach, like, pers teaching his own personal politics in the classroom, who gives a shit? David. So let's let's see if we can disaggregate the two things. There's the Rush Limbaugh thing, and then there's the teacher thing. So on the Rush Limbaugh thing, Rush Limbaugh's political views are disgusting. He's been an uh, unabashedly disastrous influence on the American political discussion. He for a while had more power than he has now to direct uh, what the American rights talking points were. He was part of, uh, you, you know, setting the agenda there. His politics are disgusting, and it doesn't matter what condition he has, that doesn't change. Number two, is it okay to recognize when someone dies that the world is better off with that person not alive? I think it's okay to recognize that without taking unnecessary glee in the fact that they died, which gets us to the, yeah. the third part of this. I take no pleasure in the fact that Rush Limbaugh has lung cancer. I know so many people whose, whose lives and families have been touched by cancer. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, and I see Rush Limbaugh as pretty damn close to my worst enemy. So that's as far as the Rush Limbaugh stuff goes. Then it's the teacher's tweet. Um, what is it that, there's two reasons why the teacher absolutely should have been suspended. Number one, um, if we have people teaching kids that it's okay or acceptable to say, I'm glad this person's dying. I'm glad this person's sick. If all those kids take that and integrate that into their point of view, we're going to have some really horrible adults, and I don't want that. So that's one reason the teacher should have been suspended. And then number two, if you're a teacher and you're willing to post something so horrible publicly, your judgment is clearly so impaired that you also shouldn't be teaching kids for that reason. Yeah, agreed. Yep. Here, here's a question actually I have about the account. What What... What was the Twitter account marked as? What do you like, mean? Like, if this Twitter account was, like, their, like, name or some shit, and it was, like, a random Twitter account, I think that there might be a stronger case for, like, they can tweet whatever they want. But if it was marked as, like, teacher at, like, Sacred Heart Elementary. Yeah, Catholic that's true. Dice, so well, how else would I'm, people have found it, right? Well, because oh, you can go on hunting right? trees to find people. Like, yeah. I'd be curious about that. So, because hold on. If the I'm, I'm going to pull had, like, the tweet here. Hold on. I'm going to try to pull the yeah, tweet. Sure. But, but, if the but teacher's Destiny. account was... What I'm saying is, like, if the teacher's account was literally like, he deleted hey, his like, Twitter. Gosh. Oh, if the Twitter sure. doesn't exist. So the teacher's anymore. account okay. was literally like, I'm yeah. Mark or whatever, and like that's it. And then the guy's like, Oh, like fuck Rush Limbaugh, that dude dies of cancer, whatever. In that case, I would actually say, you know what, fuck it, dude. Like that's his personal Twitter account. Like you go off, boss, whatever the fuck you want to say. But if his account is literally like teacher for you know District 12, Pennsylvania, blah 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 blah, then it's like, mm. it, it like, doesn't. Teachers it, a, yeah. It, I'm looking at the. I'm looking at images here. Um, 
and it's it got the Twitter handle. It doesn't show his profile, but it kind of looks like a generic sort of, you know, generic profile. It's hard to tell though; we can't see his bio. I think I think the issue with that perspective is that we're judging the actions of the individual based on the job they do, not how they represent the company that they're essentially employed right. by, right? Mm -hmm. So there's, there well, is yeah, a Yeah, but like, I don't there. think that a company should have a right to your off-the-clock time. No, and I don't no. either, and I've said yeah. this many, many times, but I also think there are certain uh, jobs, teacher being one of them. Yeah, so teacher yeah. is like very community-driven. You have the same customers exactly. for a, a year, sometimes more, and you're like very involved in their lives. So I Plus you work with so, children, right? So. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but I could see like, if it's a random account and you really have no way of knowing it's a teacher, but somebody like dug it up and connected the dots and found out, I'd say in that case, well, nah, fuck that. Like the teacher, like that's some crazy shit. Yeah, but like if fine. the teacher's account was literally like fifth grade teacher at local elementary, blah, blah, blah. Then it's like, okay, well you're being pretty if, fucking stupid at this point. If they're like, completely you know. disconnected and you can't make the points except for some hard like internet troll Reddit yeah. digging, I think that's mm -hmm. fair, but I'm, I'm assuming that it wasn't that way. And yeah. It also brings into name. question, like, how far back do we go as well? Like, if they if they posted something five years ago or ten years ago on like their one of their social media accounts, like, like should they be fired over that? Um, they well, we, we've talked many it? times on the show about what what should be the statute of limitations no. on cancel culture, right? Like, when does something being so reprehensible sort of trump how long ago you said it? You know, there was a BuzzFeed journalist getting wrecked over this before they'd said racist things about um, having a uh, you know from 2012, I think it was. Uh, from having, you know, uh, joking about how they had a black uh, housemate and they were going to start locking things in case they started stealing from them. And this all came out. And because it's a BuzzFeed journalist, obviously no journalist is going to do the outrage culture because they protect their own. But um, but the reality is, you know, is, is that re that's just as reprehensible now in 2020, right? But yeah, yeah. I, I think there needs to be a sort of statute of limitations. The world was a very different place 10 years ago. Social media was a very different place. Contextually, not only that, people made edgy people jokes. People just learn. Not only that, but I, 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 think, I think that there needs to be like, and this is a hot take, or I, I guess it's a hot take or whatever. When we talk mm. about the genologues, I don't think companies have a right to your off the clock time, except in very particular types of work. Like, I could see maybe like a journalist, like maybe being one of those things where a company has a right to say, "Hey, you should act off the clock." But if you're like for like 99% of like W two work, like the idea that you can get fired at your job because of some shit that you tweet in your private time, I don't know. I, I know it's a hot, unpopular take. I think it's never easy to it. Me. Uh, it's like you have to agree to that you're responsible for your other social media platforms as well. As part of your well, partner, also, your but then with like, journalists, it does become there's a lot of crossover because if you go, oh, okay, this is my personal. Twitter, but I tweet the work I do for the company. No, yeah, yeah that's what for. I mean. It, that's bullshit. Yeah. If you're starting yeah, to right. overlap, yeah. Yeah. that hard, then yeah, I could totally see it for sure. Yeah. 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 If you're okay in, in theory with the idea of a company doing a background check, it's hard to say that they can't also look at public tweets and use those to evaluate whether you should or continue to work there. But yeah. the, pro the my problem is that if we run that line back, David, you can go to so many weird places with it. Ow, I'm so curious. I didn't get what your take was. Do you remember when the Daily Stormer got de-hosted, I think, by, was it GoDaddy or somebody? Do, do, do you don't. know what I'm talking about? So no. basically there was a Nazi website and, they, and, a, and a, a host was like, okay, well, we don't want to be associated with these guys, so we're going to de we're, we're going to stop providing services to, to, these, to the Daily Stormer website, basically. I'm fine but with you, that. You really... It's a private company. How? What's the alternative? You have to come in and say, "Hey, guys, you want to be in the host?" Well, no, 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 no. So wait, wait, this isn't about legality. It's about like it's the public. Like, who do we hold responsible for certain types of speech? So here's a question. Let's say that I'm somebody that posts on the Daily Stormer, and let's say that you find out that I post on the Daily Stormer. Do you think that you should be able to contact like AT and T and be like, "Hey, you provide internet services to that guy. What the fuck?" Or my apartment complex and say, "Hey, you let that guy live there. What the fuck?" Like, where, do, where does that stop? What? When you say, "Should I be allowed to do that?" Do you, do you mean legal? Legally, should I be oh, allowed to try yeah, that? I, I don't mean in terms of legally. I mean, like, is that like a standard that we should hold companies to? That we need to deplatform somebody off of literally every single aspect of their life? Like it's, the not how I, I, it's not how I would invest my activism time trying to get people's cell phone companies to take away their cell phones because the cell phone is is not a, a, a public facing thing that's uh, as clearly linked to putting out what I would consider to be their hateful speech. Now, the, a, a web host might be a different thing because that's literally how they are divulging their propaganda. I think it's a judgment call. Well, but it, that, that's really a tough though, one right? though because, like, because like, Stephen alluded to that we are starting to see, for example, like PayPal's being shut down, uh, people not being able to use Airbnb, Uber. You know, these are all phenomena that have happened. Uh, you know, kind of recently for people that have got uh, you know problematic speech online. And yeah, I, I, you know, I hate to say 
oh, it's a slippery slope because then everyone goes, it's a slippery slope fallacy. Sometimes slippery slope isn't a fallacy. And you get into these areas where, you know, I don't feel particularly comfortable with this idea that if you've ever said anything reprehensible online, um, you shouldn't be allowed to have a bank account or a PayPal account and you shouldn't be able yeah. to use certain services. I, I, think, so like that, I my, think that is worrying. The, the, the idea that I have is that like, I think that if you misbehave on a platform, then that platform should do whatever the fuck they want to you, but it should be restricted to that platform. Like if I say some real dumb shit on Twitter, like Twitter can ban me. But like this idea, it feels like we're moving towards a world where like you say some dumb shit on Twitter, Twitter bans you, Facebook bans you, YouTube bans you, Gmail bans you, your ISP yeah. bans you. Like it's like, holy shit, like where one thing can like ripple out to every fucking area of your life. I don't know that, I, don't, I really don't well, like the idea. I, I, I don't totally really feel like that's how you have to tell these private companies that they have to play by who? I guess some government's rules. The government says these are the platforms where we decide what's allowed and you Destiny, don't. what kind of examples do you have for that? Because I feel like this is a teacher or the qualified Applications on this are so much more different because of the responsibility that well, I mean, like, has. so from I mean, like, well, the most recent thing that happened would have been with Jenna. Um, we could talk about like the like people, but you being definitely agree like, to that. What you agree to that you're responsible for your other social media platforms as part of your terms of service. No, wait, for, not really. No, that's yes, it is. It's don't swear to God. Well, hopefully, we're both atheists here. The, yeah, the difference is that, like, that's, typically that's in, in the Twitch TOS, the, when, the contract you sign, the way that it reads on the community guidelines is that, like, you can't use another social media platform to, like, target harassment towards, like, another streamer or something like that. But the idea that, like, if you do something bad on another social media platform, Twitch will ban you, that's, like, a very new, that's, like, a reinterpretation of, of well, older rules. It wasn't. I, I've talked about this on my, on my podcast before, Stephen, and this is, you know, something that happened. There's now, like, kind of a, a body, a, a board where all representatives from all all of the major social media platforms and big tech platforms oh, all come around and sit sit and and they do have sort of unofficial agreements to occasionally mirror bands for people who are um you know deemed to be too problematic you know milo yiannopoulos gavin mckinnis these are guys that have all gone through this and had mm -hmm. multi uh, uh, uh tommy robinson um people who've had you know multiple platforms at once coordinated removed from them you know patreon's another big one um, and it's like, you, you say, okay, well, you don't need a Twitter account. Okay, well, you don't need a YouTube channel. Okay, you don't need a Facebook page. At some but point, then, though. <laughs> like, yeah, now, now then it goes, we're taking your PayPal. You can't use Uber. You can't rent yeah. an Airbnb. Do we start and pressuring, we're, we're, like, We're Chase, precariously like, close to bank like, accounts. Like, yeah, like, you can't process Visa payments. Actually. Like, it's too much. Like, we're, like, yeah. fuck, dude. That, that, you can run that back so far. You know, and like, if society were at a point where we literally only did that to like fucking neo Nazis or something, maybe I'd be a little bit more okay with it. But man, like the type of people that can get, can get attacked for that kind of stuff is it just worries me a little bit. I think that there's a natural sorting system here where the practicality of doing some of these extreme things is is, is basically zero. So if the idea was let's find all neo Nazis and make it so that they can't go to a coffee shop and run a visa payment because visa is blocking them at the top level, there's a natural impracticality to that that's very different than saying there are 20 primary white supremacist websites. Let's figure out their hosts and try to get their hosts to shut them down. It, it's it's not a slippery slope because the the degree of work and practicality is such uh, it's such a magnitude different. It's an it's an it's orders of magnitude different. Yeah. I don't think we have to worry about it. That's something that I would agree with, but that work is becoming easier and easier every day. Like that's the okay. whole point of technology, right? Like so, like it used to be. For instance, like I don't care if like everyone in the world were to know my address. Like what the fuck are they going to do that? Like twenty years ago, that was perfectly valid. Like in Sweden, you can look up like everybody's address. Like it's public information because like oh well, who cares? But in today's day and age. Someone from the other side of the world, like having your address, some dude in fucking like, you know, Kazakhstan having my address can actually do real damage to me. Like it's now it's like more of a threat. And, you know, with the way that all the coordinated groups online work today, uh, you know, with the way that they target people, like I don't know how implausible it is that we couldn't start to see some targeting at like, say, yeah. the ISP like, what's level group for people. Sleeping giants or whatever. I mean, you know, some of the people that they target as well. We're not talking yeah. about propagating. Not to mention speech. like the the. The precedents that it's set are very strange as well. So, like the Daily Stormer being unhosted by GoDaddy, like, is there like an implicit like tie then that every single like hosting service provided by GoDaddy are providing it to people that they necessarily agree with or aren't hateful? Like, should any type of like like could you get to an area, for instance, where like YouTube hosting like Louis C.K. like that's no longer okay because some people think that the humor that he engages in with is problematic? Like, I, I don't know. That's just, I don't that I, that world is scary to me. I think it's similar to the Alex Jones thing, where it's like they're obviously. 
YouTube and Facebook are both riddled with people whose ideas are probably very similar to Alex Jones, but mm-hmm. it, it's it's a PR decision in part by these companies on the basis of how notable is the person that they are talking about. There, there's no question that it's not simply what is the content. There's also a PR yeah, calculation. Well, yeah, of course. But the PR calculation comes from the fact that today in society, we think that we should hold all of these companies accountable. And that's more, I'm not really talking about like, should companies legally be allowed to do it? I just think like in a societal sense, I don't think we should be holding like all these large companies accountable for every single like manner of speech that might be hosted on a platform that they're like tangentially involved in. Is yeah. what I'm okay, let's wrap up. Let's wrap this up. We're going to get a, uh, a poll in the chat here. Um, okay, queer better. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go ahead and take a vote. The poll's in the chat. You're going to vote for who you want to keep, not kick. Keep not kick. Keep, keep, keep not kick. Keep not kick. I don't remember the last 10 minutes. Okay, I. Oh, God. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. Good time. What? You guys all agree that Taco Bell kind of sucks. I agree with my friend. No, what the fuck? Really? What do you mean? You get there's like only, so much food. You spend like seven bucks the, and get so much food. Have any other two good things on the menu, dude? Guy. Like that's it. They're, like, like, I mean, suck, the quality is um, high enough for how cheap it is. It's just like Wendy's. Yeah. Four for five, five for four what deal. It's insane. Not feel Bell. like vomiting oh, after every time you eat that shit. No. What fast awesome. boxes are available? What are you talking you about? At? What do you get? Everywhere. I live in a college town. The worst part about Taco Bell is that they always give you those small tacos on the side of your meal, and like I just throw it away every time because that, that shit's fucking garbage, dude. Who I, actually dude, eats those tacos? Eat Bullshit! Though. Their hard tacos are fire. What? You eat man. those tacos? It's such yeah. garbage, dude. It's like dog food. I can't get through that shit, No matter how much sauce I put on it. Hello? Can you guys? Airsoft, we have some time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Today. It's alright, we're working on it. We're working through it. Difficulties over here, guys. It's alright, Airsoft. You're good. I was just wondering if you thought Taco Bell sucked. It does. Considering a good chunk of their meat is nothing but sawdust, yes. Oh, wow. Okay. My man. I like it. Alright, go ahead and vote, 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 vote. Keep not kick. All right, David Pakman, 23% of the vote in the round. Congratulations. Is this again. still part of the show? Are we still on, guys? Yes, we are. Yes. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah. This is a part of the production, David. Believe it or not, yeah. You won, David. Thank you. Yes. You can't, David, by the way. <laughs> David, I you have a cabal with David, I know it sounds like there's complete silence, but there's noises, there's sound and stuff going through my ears, and they can hear sounds. So it's a little. Gotcha. It's a very intense moment right now, David, so you must act accordingly. All right? I didn't know. Yeah, I know. It's tough to be aware of that sometimes. David, you won the round. Thank you. You're welcome. David, you must choose between. <laughs> Eliminating one person, and that is West, by the way, or Mind Waves. Oh, excuse me, Lumi Roo and Mind Waves TV. Right. Um, do, do, do. Uh, I mean, again, I, I've got I've got no horse in this race. I just go by the de- the democracy of the system that you've established. So it's yes. got to be Mind Waves. Okay. All right. Uh-oh. Okay, Mind Waves. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Unfortunately, you have been eliminated by David Bagman. <laughs> The second casualty of him today. I'm sorry, Mind Waves. Go ahead and shout out your channel. It's all right. Um, yeah, so Mind Waves TV on Twitch. I do Big Brain Podcast on Tuesdays and another podcast on Fridays. I also what? have been doing uh, Witcher 3, so if you like that, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Thanks, uh, Thanks, Rush. Thank you, fun. Mind Waves. Take care. Everybody give no it up. Thank you. All right. Uh, congratulations, David. How, how, how are you doing so far? This must be completely fucking a mess for you. Yeah, I've never been on Periscope before. <laughs> I like it. No, but in all seriousness, with all these wins, I, I'm, people aren't really following my channel on Twitch. Well, this is the place to appear. Well, you know? David, you just you, you have to look, David. Uh, now that you said that, you're probably going to get a whole load of follows because you said that, okay. David. So. All right. Um, there you go. And who knows if you win the show, David, you could get a ton of follows too. You never know. So there's no chance that winning could cost me my followers. No, I don't, I don't think so. There's been plenty of Twitch career ruined on this. Oh, come on. He's full of shit. Yeah, sure. Most, well, uh, what he's not telling you, David, is most of those careers are ruined by destiny. So it's not, it has nothing to do with the show. <laughs> it has to do with destiny being well, on the show quite frequently and ruining fair, those careers. Fair, fair. So, 
uh, he's, he's, he's leaving out very uh, critical information. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. The next topic is uh, related to this argument that Destiny recently got into on his stream. Um, oh, God. Why are we doing so much politics today? Jesus. It's not, it's not politics. Just so you guys, I just want to make something really clear to the Raj Royale audience. I don't choose these fucking, like, topics or whatever. I'm not, like, having input here. I didn't know this Destiny, was going to be Destiny, political. Destiny, Destiny, hold fucking, on. Yeah, just a minute. Just a minute. You, you've told me time and time again you sick and tired of the Twitch ban topics, the Twitch double standard topics, the cam girl topics on Twitch. And so, no matter what topic you talk about, Destiny's gonna bitch. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, True. wait, Destiny, fuck. I have a question for you. Sincerely. It's unfortunate that everybody cares yeah, about what's your I question? mean, personally, I How love do you feel the, about the work about Bear Kamu. Jesus, Minx is still here. Minx, yeah. yeah, I was about to say, you, I don't think you've talked in three I, I rounds. Why ever and shit. We I should, you know what? We should instill a new rule. <laughs> I feel like these are the only kind of topics I click. We well should instill a new rule in the Raj Royale that no matter what the votes, if you don't talk, you're auto eliminated. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah that'd be great. Wait, what was Chad's question? <laughs> Wait, that means that people just not talking about the work of Abir. Minx, you have Airsoft Fatty, I think he's attacking you. I think he's, well, I'm so sorry that he's attacking so you. So let's, well, Airsoft Fatty's got a mic that's. Okay, don't call him out, Raj. You know, his not there's no need to story. attack your fucking guest. Okay, okay. so I want to get to the topic here. So there's a Twitter person uh, that tweeted. That, the tweet kind of went viral. It's got 41,000 likes, uh, 3,200 retweets. The Twitter what? is posting, is quoting a, a picture of Pete Buttigieg and his husband kissing. Um, and I think it's quoting a Cap tweet that somebody kind of uh, alluded to how impassionate it was. Um, and then she picked it up and quoted, what? it's literally fucked up that Joe Biden and his granddaughter have more chemistry. And then the picture is, I believe, of Ew. Pete Buttigieg and his uh, husband kissing on stage. Uh, by the way, that tweet that she was quoting has since been deleted, I believe. Um, so the question I have is, is this homophobic? No. no. How is it homophobic? Can it's someone tell me where I can find yeah, the, the subject? Yeah, let me. There, I got the tweet. I, I tried to. I, I, I thought no I linked you. Sorry, going on. sorry, dude. I do know Wait, Pete Buttigieg is married to a guy. I thought, I, I, thought I linked but... you before the show. Pete uh, and his husband kissing looks like Mark Zuckerberg and his clone kissing. Why do you They're give two a fuck? Fucking Who robot. Cares? Who cares, dog? Okay. Okay, no. I'm just saying it's not homophobic. It's right. They look incredibly dispassionate. Why does the person care either? Why does the person tweeting give a fuck? All these fucking Who Andy's just tweeting shit. About what? listen, I don't fuck with Rat must Mr. Rat himself, but why does anybody care about how steamy his kiss with his husband? Yeah, and I, I totally agree with that, dude. Like obviously there's a lot of people that have been trying to intimate that he's not gay enough, which is yep. absurd and, and that is what is he wearing disgusting, for oh, God, right? Yeah, like yeah. you know, that, what well, the fuck do you want him to do, right? Like what stereotype in your mind do you need him a panda to? So yeah, there is that. that. Uh, but then th this this tweet saying wow. that fucking Joe Biden and his granddaughter have more chemistry, that's fucking straight fire, hilarious, and true. It's more so, of an attack against Biden, really. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's like the idea, the idea it's homophobic to point out Biden is a fucking serial creep who kisses yeah. his fucking granddaughter on the lips yeah, is, is ridiculous. He's a, Biden's a fucking oh, mess, and people well, should ridicule him for it. CNN I've ever seen. Wait, what'd you say, Airsoft? Say again. Just arguing politics 101. Huh? What'd you say, Airsoft? Okay. Your neck is getting in the way of your words. Okay. Come on, Wes. Come on Let's not do that, Wes. Um, I'm fat. I can make fun of fat. What were people. you saying? Uh, That's true. Okay, so you, nobody thinks here that the tweet <laughs> that she she did was homophobic in any way. Uh, how? Does it, oh yeah, it does anyone? Yeah. Lumi rude. Nobody does. I thought somebody it, did. It I thought somebody got had... used in homophobic way. Yeah. I mean, that's where it ended up going. Mm -hmm. Is it inherently homophobic? I would argue that it's just fucking weird. Like, no one has to perform their passion for you. That's fucking weird. True. Like, so the way that I read this is that I feel like a lot of... Um, uh, the, to not get too complicated, there's been a lot of gay testing of Pete, which feels very yeah. fucking weird. Because if you're straight, you're never really asked to, like, prove your straightness. No one... Like, I've never had an interaction with another person where someone's like, wow, the way that Desk is on the girl, he seems like he's not even really straight. Like, I, it's a really fucking weird thing to say. But if it's a gay guy and what? you're trying to, like, score points... What? Do you that think that happens, happens all the time with, like, incel virgins who, like, don't, can't talk to women and, like... Are scared yeah, to sure. hold their hands but, and shit. Like, what are you, gay I've dude? I've never met any. 
Well, like, but it's done in like a very like oh, like whatever thing. Like people aren't actually sincerely suggesting that the person is gay. Like did it's you more go just like to a high way school? to insult them. I did. I, mean, I went to an all boys high school actually. So yes, I have a lot of experience. Oh, so now you have less experience because there's no women. A lot of experience with these types of No, it was totally like, but, like uh, even, negative. But even were... even if that was true, even if we said it was the same thing, those wouldn't what? be acceptable attacks either. Amazing. Asking if a straight person what is color? gay also wouldn't be acceptable. But especially like I've seen like a lot of very weird attacks on Pete relating to his sexuality. And this same yeah. Twitter account, like that same day, had tweeted things like, "I don't think that Pete like even knows what it means to be gay. It looks like he learned about it from like Modern Family or some shit." Which is like you're only like. You're only attacking a guy because he's not like gay enough for you. That's like a really unhealthy way to attack yeah, fucking I think. Weird. Or fucking what if they're calling him out because they think he's using being gay as like a political move? How could you even, first of all, a lot of people don't even know that he's gay. If you wanted to Bro. do that about Pete, it's yeah. the worst candidate yeah. to do. There's and a lot of it was a hilarious video. And then found out he was gay and then fucking said, can I take my fucking support back? That's why all this shit is happening. Because the Iowa caucus, that's why everyone's freaking out. And that's why people are just learning about this. And now they're just seeing that all this weird shit's happening. So of course there's going to be weird reactions to it. So it's a group of people on Twitter that are Bernie supporters that are trying to say that people that use identity politics only ever do it to try to support their candidate or whatever. But right. since, um, unfortunately, since um, uh, Sanders doesn't fall into any of these like identity politics like scoring cards for left leaning people, they've decided that they're gonna like weaponize it and use it to attack Pete. Like, oh well, he's only pretending to be gay so that he can score points with the libs and shit like okay, that. So, like, there's so been that the, type of the question that I, I, let me put this into better better context. Um, I missed a piece of this this thing. What what this girl was quoting. She was quoting somebody who tweeted with the same picture. Uh, Even straight men kiss each other with more passion. You psychopath. Have you ever seen an Italian? Is that? I, mean, I do kiss my <laughs> bros really well, but I will say that's the bullshit. Wait, have you ever seen an Italian? What does that mean? So here, let me let me put the tweet up here. Um, like straight straight Italian men kiss each other or something? I don't. I, I have no well, idea. Well, yeah, in, 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 in Italy, like in Argentina, right? it's common for men right. to kiss hello. So, yeah. Destiny, did did you argue that with that girl? Um, that it was that, that what she was. Yeah. Well, my feeling is that like if this was a straight, like Warren had a lot of very. Do you remember any of the videos that Warren did on Instagram where her and her husband were like fucking robots, like trying to communicate to like normal humans? Did it? Do you remember this, Pac-Man? <laughs> Um, yes, I do. Long, yeah, a long time ago. But, like, people weren't saying, like, I don't know if Elizabeth Warren is straight. Maybe she's actually a lesbian. You know, like, nobody was saying that. Because, like, why would you attack her sexuality that way? Wait, didn't All people of, like, do that to Hillary when she was super awkward with her husband? I don't, I remember, don't remember it as like much. But there have been, like, there have been a lot of attacks Resident related to, like, like Pete <gasps> Booty Judge, Pete Butt Chug, Pete Butt Plug. Right. Like, a lot of these led by, like, really large online left-leaning content creators. I just think it's really weird to attack the guy over being gay. True. I mean, that's just, like, I, I, don't, I don't think, think they're attacking him for being gay. Or some of them are. I've seen some that are. But, I mean... Uh, well, he's in, he's in that fucking horrible spot, right, where the people... Uh, that want him to be super gay, evidently. I don't even know what the fuck super gay is, but like you've got that people attacking him for not being gay enough, and then you've got a, you know, people who are a little bit more conservative in their politics it's, attacking him for being gay at it's, all. It's not gay enough. It's saying just it's how cynical, he has you know? romance it's like, with his husband is so awkward and robotic and like. This you passion. saw a guy kiss a guy on stage. Like, what do you want him to do? Like, fucking take yeah, him to like, make out with him? I know, it just seemed incredibly strange. But the, the thing with that was is there's, there's a couple of things there. What do you want to do? Like, first of all, it doesn't matter how passionate he is because how he interacts with his fucking partner is like no one's business for Sure, sure. I'm just saying. But second of all, understand he needs to occupy a sort of political middle ground because there's so many fucking homophobes in America. So he, he he can't like so kissing you know your I mean? gay husband is a like, spot like a man to, to, to occupy Please. the fact that his sexuality That's... is even an issue on the campaign trail is fucking uh, it's unbelievable. Oh, that it's not unbelievable. It's of course sword. it's going to be an issue. Do you know how many people are still anti fucking gay? You want that? That's you what want I'm the, saying. The but it just shouldn't be. Should it? Like, and the it now, should. people no, are fucking the, saying perform, perform. The the coolest thing you that you're gay, the, so I can feel good about go voting ahead, for you. Yeah, and other people are saying don't fucking kiss your husband at all. We don't want to see that shit. We'd rather think of you know. I don't think there's anything wrong with people pointing out how uncomfortable it seems when he's like just kissing his husband. Like he does, it comes out. He's really fucking weird. It's it's really that, strange. Oh my god! Destiny, go ahead. But there are some people well, the, that are trying the, to like really hot take is that, him. Like, the the Pete has to like. Ah, uh, never mind. Fuck, it's too hot. Never mind. Say it, you pussy. Say it. It was too long. It was too long. It's not relevant anymore. Never mind. We need you at the top of LSF again, dude. Come on. <laughs> 
Okay, the, the the really hot take is that Pete has to work really hard to appeal to voters despite being gay, especially because he needs to pick up the black vote, which he hasn't been able to do, which is historically a little bit more anti-gay than like progressive white voters. That's like another thing that he has to worry about as well. So, and Pete historically does really bad with minority votes as well, and minorities tend to like score harder against gay people as well, so. That okay. Not at all. Anybody else want to cool. say anything? David, did you I would love to. Yeah. Ahead, David, so here's please. the deal. The, any any kind of like gay testing element to this, the idea that he may not really be gay because of how he acts in public or whatever, it's oh. it's lame, it's homophobic, it's problematic. There is a, I mean the the picture is really about PDA public display of affection and the problem for gay couples in the United States still is that there's a double-edged sword where in this case, I mean listen, Pete Buttigieg edge is an awkward guy. His husband, Chasten, is an awkward guy. And Chasten. if, sorry, what was that? I, was, I just thought his name was funny. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> yeah, his name, his name to me is like weirdly religious and I find it all, all really weird. But the problem is if they do more of a PDA, then you have people who start to say, oh my God, that's too much. It's just too yeah. much because there's a different standard applied to gay men in public than to mm -hmm. heterosexual couples. Yeah. So it's a double-edged sword. That's the reality. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you pushing your gayness in my face? Very calm. Yeah, it's like if we were to see a comic, um, I, don't, I don't know where our hot takes all stood on this, but like if you were to see a comic where Tracer has like a boyfriend and it's Christmas or whatever, like no one would give a fuck. No one would oh, say anything Santa about Coom? it. Yeah. But because yeah. Tracer had a girlfriend, now it's like, oh, hmm. so now Destiny. it's political. Like every guy that is gay we, in society like does it to make a political we, statement. We had a we had a political thing actually happen like this in the UK where um, historically the kind of more racist party, the BNP, the British Nationalist Party, they were forbidden from being on uh, the, the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. They couldn't Big promote man, themselves as a, as a party. And uh, there was a guy called Nick Griffin who was the head of the party. He came on. It was oh the first gosh. time. It was historic. First time they'd ever been interviewed by the BBC. And they asked him his views on gay people. And he said, listen, I just think most people in Britain would find the sight of two men kissing really creepy and then he and, and the crowd just fucking barracked him and barraged him with fucking booze and stuff it was like but unfortunately i think in america that that is that is an attitude that's definitely there if people you know like david said if if you're a too affectionate you are going to get yeah. that kind of stuff yeah it's a lose-lose situation honestly i don't know why the fuck anybody is looking at the relationship that's such a weird thing about american politics that i've noticed too is besides the personality and the like popularity contest of it like so many things that should not fucking matter to the person's like ability to govern their stances on policy just come into like and i'm guilty of it too i look at pete i fucking hate that dude man like i don't want anything to do with that dude but that's not for any good reason. You know what I mean? It's just so weird to me that that, that even- It feels like we're not picking a president, but we're trying to pick like who would our favorite uncle be to have like a exactly. Thanksgiving Exactly, who, who, who yeah, is totally totally the best optics? You know what I mean? Like, okay. It's just so All right, let's wrap up the topic uh, and it's time to take a vote. Minx, what do you think? Minx had a, Minx had oh, Minx, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Did Minx have a take? Go, Go ahead, Minx. Minx. No, yeah, I, I think I've said my fair share for this topic. Ah. True. <laughs> yeah, you've spoken up. Okay. <clears throat> As you guys can tell, the rounds are getting progressively shorter. So don't worry, you won't be here for much longer. Okay, go ahead and vote. Or you want to keep, not kick? Keep, not kick. Person with the most amount of votes, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada. Yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Keep, not kick. Keep, not kick. What color? So that's, what's that strange? So color? Destiny, <laughs> alluding to what you talked about earlier, am I not gay enough or something? Yeah, I know. Oh, that's a whole other conversation, Raj. And you're disgusting. I can't believe that you. <laughs> I can't believe you're queer baiting people, Raj. Honestly. Yo, I, I, I think you're just the right amount of gay, Raj. If it makes you feel any better. Oh, thank you, Richard. I think you're perfectly gay. Oh, well, thank you. I, I'd say I'm mostly gay. Probably, I guess, technically bisexual. Because I have slept with a woman. It's been probably about six years, though. Raj, we're gonna need to see a video of you fucking a man. Yeah, to see okay. If you're I, am I gonna have to release yeah, true, a sex dude. tape? Is this what it's gonna take? I would be okay with that. No, Minx, okay. you just want Raj to fuck you. Okay, we've seen all the tweets, man. It's getting a little creepy. Did though. you hear Zuckles, uh, who's a uh, from Misfits, came out as bisexual today? Did you see nice. that? Wow. Oh, we're calling that as bisexual now? Is that a thing? I'm oh, wait. Sorry. Hold on. Wait. Is that a problem, so Destiny? Hold on. Wait. Whoa. 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 <laughs> you're 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 very you're you're scraping the line of being canceled. I tell you. As a fellow bisexual man, I fully endorse bi erasure. I <laughs> I don't believe 90% of bi people when they say they're bi. I don't. I'm at that point. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, never mind. Okay. 
Yeah. So wait, you're cool with people, you're questioning people's bisexuality, but not with their homosexuality? No, I fully believe. <laughs> Never mind, I was gonna make a really bad joke about Raj and the people he brings on his shows and illicit sexual relationships, but I don't want to upset Raj, so never mind. The same joke you did no. to me last time we were on. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what they say, Raj, I'm a lie repeated off enough becomes the truth. Be I know. I'm, my, my bridge is the next to be burned. I'm ready for it. Oh, I'm ready for I'm it. I'm ready for the Raj manifesto. All right. <laughs> okay. <Six> um, <coughs> so what was I going to say? Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, 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 Minx, uh, uh, <laughs> you won the poll. Congratulations, group, Minx. Group, group. Well deserved. Well deserved, Minx. Okay. Af oh, I am after you put in a shift. Of, you put in a shift of work here, Minx. Minx. Yeah. Proud of you, Minx. The bottom two yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Between Chad and Wes, by the way. You must eliminate one of them from the show. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, it's it's gonna have to be. Uh, Wes. Yeah, that's it. Jesus. All right, she's made the choice. She's eliminated Wes from yeah. the podcast. Thank you very much, Minx. Me. Great choice. Uh, go ahead and uh, shout out your <laughs> channel, Wes. Wes, just speak up next time a bit and maybe... You're right. I'm sorry, Minx. Speak up next time. Wes, thank best. you so much for coming. You have been eliminated for the first time of the first time you've made it to the bottom two. Go ahead and shout out your channel. Thanks. Uh, DJ Cast, come back tonight, by the way. Put politics, world news, combined with DJ topics. going to be after the Raw show at twitch.tv slash Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you, Raz. You too. Bye. Did you just Bye, call him Raj? He just oh, really yeah. wasn't made for he started to call him. He started to call him Raj, but then he reminisced his West, so he was like, Raj. <laughs> That's what I heard. All right. Okay, let's move on to the next topic here. Ray um, no work he good. And that is um, related to the Super Bowl. Um, there's a God. lot of people. Well, maybe not a lot of people, but a certain subset of the population, right. specifically moms and Catholics, are the two publications that we found here. Um, people uh, have been slamming, those people in particular have been slamming J-Lo and Secura for quote-unquote being too sexy during the Super Bowl halftime show. Uh, they referenced uh, the stripper pole in the um, halftime show as very problematic, uh, especially with their children watching. The question I have for you is, do you guys think that the Super Bowl halftime show was too sexy and inappropriate no. for children at all? I need to speak on this. Go ahead, okay. please. As a professional coomer, I speak for all the other coomers here when I say that that was a great show. Go get them. We support those kind of things, and we love all of that. That is my spot one. Thank you. Okay, so do you have anything to comment about what these people might be saying about it? Yeah, that's absolutely bullshit. I mean, I get that people have individual values, and that I get that people have their individual beliefs, but it feels like a little bit of a back and forth as far as, I don't know, is zeitgeist the proper word, as far as where the country is in this whole issue because we've worked so hard to i don't know what you'd call it go get them liberate or depuritanify or make the topic or ideas of sex a little less taboo and i mean i watched the show we've seen way spicier shit in the just chatting section let alone on the oh. fucking super bowl i don't think that's okay. I, I think that's really I okay how that. here's the problem with your take okay, okay. how the Educate. fuck can you say yeah. that you can't follow my sentences and then drop a word like zeitgeist Okay, I'm secretly memeing that I'm dumb, okay? All I do is okay. read and then it's fine, all right? Oh, okay, gotcha. Though. That's just what I was, okay. All right, but I mean, look, I, I think I think this is so like a fucking it's such a regressive fucking thing to even be Please. talking about. You know, it's like yeah. it's a bizarre thing. Like, oh, the halftime show is too sexy, but uh, we don't have a problem. with like, you know, because for children, right? We got to we, but we don't have a problem with alcohol being advertised. We don't have a problem with all this other shit. You know, the um, CBS or whoever the fuck it was stopped a medical marijuana uh, advertisement. Yeah. Uh, as well, like not you know, to mention it, that Donald Trump ran commercials. He's had twenty women say he sexually harassed them, and right. the problem is Shakira wore revealing gold-colored clothing. Right? I mean, it's True. like it, it's the fact that it's even a conversation is a sign that they have won. And quite frankly, I won't even say another word about it. Well, I, 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 don't, you, I don't, I don't agree with this. Um, if but by they, I assume you mean con conservative media, is it? Or the religious right? I mean. Oh, the religious right. Okay. I mean, listen, nothing's going to come of it. There's actually a dude trying to fucking sue the NFL. 
<laughs> saying his how his home was violated by the awful images being beamed into his house. Like he couldn't change the channel or whatever the fuck. Technically, anybody can sue anybody for anything, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. But I'm just saying that's like, you know, the pathetic degrees that it's going to. I think people talking about the show, I think it's ridiculous. You know, we had we had a guy who was shirtless to a halftime show. What was that last year or the year before? No one gave a fuck. It's just it's just feeble nonsense to kind of like you know, kind of drive this stupid, like, uh, I think Aniki had the right word, puritanical, you know, kind of bullshit that we're getting. We are getting more of a puritanical kind of uh, resurgence in American society. Is, is, so you guys don't find, like, do you think that there's any, I don't know, I honestly, I, well, my personal opinion on this topic is I agree with all of you. I'm just trying to play the advocate here. Um, is there any, <laughs> Is there any problem with like the way that they dance? If children were watching, does that not come into the equation at all? No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Well, we can move on. Then. Oh, David <laughs> just said a little bit more on the issue. No, it doesn't. That was three more words. You said you were going to say another David, word. Yeah, I know. Right. right. Oh, that was a different issue. That was about dancing, not clothing. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, I've got another topic here. Uh, it was supposed to be for the next round, but we will just save it for this one. Um, there is a pizza shop owner that took down was uh, that took down a sign uh, that said fat people are harder to kidnap. Um, they were there was outrage related to this sign that said fat people are harder to kidnap. Um, now I'm I'm sure you're probably thinking that this is probably just a fat you know shaming related topic, but the reason people were outraged was because he posted this banner during Human Trafficking Awareness Month, which was recognized in the month of January. It's a whole um, fucking month. Yeah, so it was a, it was a <laughs> month of January. People messaged, the table. people messaged and emailed the corporate what? entity responsible for this pizza chain, um, and as a result of that, they what? took the sign down, apologized profusely. Um, do you think? Do you, do you guys think this that he that the reaction was a little too... Um, absurd. Do you think that it was appropriate? Yes. Um, what no one chain? in the world, no one in the world did, has heard of that holiday or that month. Okay, no I one. I was going to say, did did they know? Because no oh my god, no. So can, here's the sign. Know. I'll show you the sign here. I've got a picture of the sign. Uh, I put it in the. Uh, where, <laughs> it's where, actually where so so. Hold on. The sign is the sign is right over here. I'll, I'll put it in my Discord lobby if you guys are looking in the Discord lobby. So um so that. It's essentially just a piece of pizza on there, and it says um, fat people are easier to kidnap. So, uh, harder, I mean, harder to kidnap, to kidnap yeah. right? You're harder to kidnap. Sorry, yeah. not easier to kidnap. Which, which, which is, which is true. And so, and and so he was he was forced to take this sign down um, because Honestly, of the outrage that was emailed the corporate. Um, that's the, a good joke, and it's done in good jest. And I, I feel like that joke is more accepting of fat. Like, I know that sound. This is like, maybe this is a little like mental gymnastic -y, fucked up take. But if it's saying fat people are harder to kidnap, I mean, technically that's a positive on being fat, right? I know it's still making fun, but like, this is just like somebody made a joke. No one knows who, where the fuck, whatever month, kidnap who, whatever is. Right, and this is just people looking to be mad over dumb shit again. That, that, I, like, I just think that's all it is. Yeah, and it's well, also I mean, look, not the, even the way the joke works is people. that it's, it's essentially saying pizza. there are positives to gorging on food uh, to a degree where you, you know, gain weight, right? I mean, well, and, we and, and to... they're a restaurant that sells food. That's that's right. the whole premise of the joke. Yeah. So the Pirate idea that speaking. it's in any way. Re being reductive about human trafficking, I like it. it it's beyond a fucking stretch. Like, I mean, is do, it do actually harder like to kidnap that? a fat person? Yes. What was that? Wait. Sorry. Is yeah. it actually yeah. harder to kidnap a fat person? Like all of us are saying, like, oh yeah, obviously because they're harder to pick up. But what's actually harder? Running a person down? Because in that case, a fat person. Yeah, is yeah, true. To kidnap. It, or I guess a it person they can't you fight back the anymore because they're really exhausted Steven, I mean... and out of breath. I mean, like, I don't know, man. What if that ad actually inadvertently contributes to more human trafficking because now people are gaining more weight and they're actually easier to run down and human being trafficked? You know. All right, fair enough. What I take issue with the accuracy of the ad. Okay. Yeah, what all right. Mean? Let's get into it then. It what do you differs from person to person, but as a fat guy, all I can say is it, it can be more difficult, yes. There we go. So Especially so, if your uh, kidnappers are dumbass and drives a Prius. Okay, so. Wait, this sounds too. too wait, what the fuck? Is this... That sounds really specific. Oh, dear God. God. Have, you been, have you been. Has there been an attempted kidnapping on your. Have you really thought. Have you thought through look, this look. one, Airsoft? Have you gone through this? 
No, but I've had some situations that someone considers similar, such as a uh, pit bull following around trying to kill me. <laughs> okay. Wow. Didn't kill me. Still here. <laughs> was so the pit bull? Obviously, there's gotta be some pit bull. Was the pit bull driving a Prius? Ah, uh, no, but its owner had one. Did the pit bull try to feed you a pizza first? <laughs> no, it didn't even I take my out face. first. Let's go next. So just tap me back to the smack. So does anybody does anybody think that like people this is like a way too sensitive like they were being way too sensitive? The owner cl claims that they did not know it was human trafficking awareness month in the who month of January. Of course they didn't know. Yeah, yeah they didn't know. Yeah, what they claim. Not, like, wait, are you are you wait, they David? Do. Are you alluding to the fact that they were that they were being they they were they they did know and they just were trying no, to of course down? they okay. didn't know. No, wait, listen, every month is twenty different things, and right. almost any of these. Wait. Listen, I, I used to live in Brooklyn, right? You walk around and somebody's got a whiteboard, you know, a chalkboard on, outside, and they try to come up with something clever to get somebody inside. You want to get people in to go to your pizza place instead of whatever else. This, this is the same thing. It's there's no right. way that they knew. And uh, there were probably, you know, you there, there were probably 20 or 30 other commemorative months that that this was uh, and they just luckily or unluckily hit on this one. And that that's all that this is. OK. All right. All I heard was David Pakman supports human trafficking. <laughs> Confirmed. Print it. Ship it. Does anyone even remember opposite day? <laughs> OK. Um, <laughs> all right. Do you, do you think he should put the sign back up? No, not at this point. <laughs> but it's February. <laughs> no longer, no longer. It's February. Offensive. I'm serious. Like, does that does that make the joke inappropriate? Let's say he, let's say he, if let's say he didn't put the sign back up or he left the sign the way it is, would it have still been inappropriate? Like, should he? The question nobody's really answered is, should he? Have, did he take the appropriate action in taking the sign down? Ah, it's just a no. fucking joke. Yeah, no. exactly. Jokes are inherently not meant to be taken. He needed to keep that up. Okay, why, Airsoft? Let's face it. Too many people are taking offense to that. It's bringing awareness to it. Yes, it's making a joke. Yes, but you know what? At the end of the day, now you know a little bit more about human trafficking. And you just saw someone kind of rip on a horrible situation. Exactly. What if there we go? Uh, I forget the actor who said it, but he used to say flat out. Look for the people who are helping in a disaster, because those are the ones you're going to want to focus on. What color? The guy I didn't know it was Human Trafficking Month. I sure as hell don't know which month that is. And I could drop that joke, honestly, just as easily as he could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But are people going to okay. rip on me because, oh, I'm fat? More Does, than likely not, which is stupid. Richard, I know you just came back, but the question I was yeah, asking I is I wanted to focus on the actual action of him removing it. Do you think it should have been removed at all? I mean, should he have had to respond to that? Given that it was... I think when it if if it comes to you know you're part of a chain in a franchise and you're advertising a product in a unique way that hasn't necessarily been signed off by your corporate head office, then yeah, you're gonna have to do what they say, right? If it's an independent business and he's like acquiesced to public pressure, I don't think there was necessarily an, a, a need to do that. But equally, whenever you're in the center of an outrage storm, it makes sense to sort of pander to the crowd. That's why you have these things called you know corporate values um and you've got all this woke capitalism bullshit going on now it's just it's just cynical it's just a cynical way to say oh yeah we've learned our lesson please keep buying our pizzas you know all right okay. yeah but why pander a short short-term crowd when you can have long term fair point why do we assume that that's going to be a long-term crowd no one said to but here's the thing why pander to the outrage in the moment do something about it long term. It uh, might be a shift in the culture, right? Uh, that's, that's, that's my it thinking. If we hear the, the outrage, I think it's a shift in culture. Not all the time, but but a lot of the time. Do you want to disagree with that, Airsoft? Honestly, I can see both ways. So I'm okay. not going to sit there and disagree. Okay. And it's a little like bit of both directions. Honestly, as a fat guy, I found it hilarious to I had to cut my cam off and laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> that makes me probably the biggest asshole on earth, but I had to. I'm sorry. Just the ironic, the ironicness that I don't even know which month that is. What? But yeah. tense I mean, moments. Atlanta just made me laugh. Yeah. Okay. So okay. it's a dick way of saying it, but it's life. Stop Things are gonna happen. Life. We all just need to enjoy it. It's an experience. What? What? Where, where am I? Whoa. All right. Okay.
It's time now to take another vote. The end of the round. <laughs> it's time to take an, a vote here. The end of the round is expired. The end of the round is Uncle expired. Raj wants you. <laughs> All right. Why hasn't Tulsi gotten a chance to speak? Yeah, what did happen to Tulsi? What Tulsi what, what did happen or? to Tulsi? <laughs> Go ahead and vote for you want to keep that kick. I don't know. I hope she fucks up to the end of time. God, I fucking can't stand her. I like. I, you know who I really like is Klobuchar. <laughs> Amy it's time to get Clover, dude. You gotta get Clover. Oh God. I, I actually. Oh, it's Clover in time, dude. It's I love Clover her in time, debate. bro. Oh, actually, she always gives really good answers and has like a good performance. Everybody agrees, but then she moves nowhere in the polls. Well, like, well, well she always has some story that's only tangentially relevant. Oh, she was relevant, cringe really yesterday, cool. dude. Are you serious? I, but I, mean, yeah, there I are, know there's you. There's one answer where she gets she has a really good legislative you. history, too. I'll be, I'll I'll be honest dude. with you, Destiny. I didn't really like Amy until uh -huh. her what? Blizzard comments came out. Stop. I see how you were really, the Blizzard. I love um, to see every, how literally there every. Was if you there follow anybody on a campaign trail, they're given the same speech four hundred yeah. fucking times. Like, for how many times have we heard Bernie say, oh, "I wrote the damn thing," or the ninety nine percent? Like, every every politician on the camp tri what? campaign trail is going to be. Why like do you a, think? Uh, why do you think people are? Why, why do you think people are being? Uh, uh, just focusing on and then only her doing it. Why, why do you think that? Because she's That's like one of the least charismatic people that I think I've ever heard talk in my entire life. So it's just easier to focus on her. And she's nowhere near as mommy tier as Tulsi was. So she doesn't have any. Oh my God. I'm a Tulsi. Hey guys, uh, is it, yeah, but, 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 I, I just realized. On. Okay. What? Yeah, sorry. No, I was going to say Destiny remind me. I think I said damn earlier. Are we allowed to say swears on this podcast? Uh, you know, I was, <laughs> I was gonna, I was going to warn you about no. that, Dan. Uh, you're going to have David. Sorry. Who's Dan? <laughs> Well, he's trying to call you Dan because if he calls you by your actual name, which we don't want to say, you could get in trouble on your Twitch channel. So he's trying yeah. to protect your identity right now. Oh, I see. Uh, Dan. So Dan. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was gonna warn you about that, but yeah, we we're, we 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 don't have any swearing on this platform. Okay. Like Thank we you already for all your reports. They've been received. We already have the gays here. Why wouldn't we have swearing as well? I'm oh, sorry. That's, that's my only one for today. One for today. Uh, well, oh, shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> that's just a bad time for me. Okay. Are you using okay, some kind of a guys, voice processor? That was weird. Taco Bell. No. Go ahead and vote for you. Go ahead and vote for Keep that kick. All right. David Pakman, congratulations. Did you vote last time? <laughs> or was it Minx? It was Minx last time. David Pakman, congratulations. You must Thank choose you. between the two lowest amount of voted people, Lumiru yeah. and Chad. Choose me. Go. I'm going to go David, with David, stop! Would you Sorry, be open to hearing a fuck? perspective from both of them, or are you just going to continue to kick the person with David, the lowest amount of votes? David, let me speak, please. I, want I would be willing to hear an argument from some third party about no, 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 no. which one of them should be kept or kicked off. I mean, let me say this, please. Who wants to do it? Destiny? I do. Whoa, okay. no, let... Chad? Wants to speak? Okay. Chad right, is oh my god, I'm sorry. Chad, I gotta leave. I need to leave this show. Chad, listen, I have a lot of premium hentai queued up that I got to get to watching. Please kick me. Oh. Wait a second. Does it matter that the numbers have changed and Chad is no, no longer? No, I, I called it when I call it. It's over. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Fair enough. For the bar. I apologize. Chad wants to leave, so maybe that would be if he wants to leave, you can kick him. I have a lot of hentai to get to, man. Let's go. All right. Well, then it's Chad. Thanks, Whoa, Chad. Thank you. Go ahead and shout out your channel. Twitch.television slash Aniki Chad. Okay. I'll see you guys bye. there. Bye bye. Pleasure. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Nice right. to meet you, bro. I'm hearing my own voice on a delay. It's weird. Yeah, I know, David. Sometimes in technology, things echo, and then you hear yourselves again, then over and Thanks, over again. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, uh, so let's talk about uh, a uh, recent thing that happened um, on Twitch. Uh, we're not going to talk about uh, the ban and whether it was justified, okay? Destiny, I want to make that clear, okay? This topic is not about whether the fact that this ban was justified or not. Uh, there was a streamer by the name of Penta who just got DMCA'd for watching Live PD. Uh, my question to the panel what is, is PD real quick? What's PD? Live PD. Police Department. Live, Live, PD. Police Live. Department. Live PD is a show that features uh, different police departments around the uh, country. Uh, doing police work in live fashion. Uh, it's on A and E. Well, it's a TV show. It's a TV show. <laughs> yes, a TV show called Live PD. Okay, so the question is that I want to ask you guys is: Do you think this will lead to less streamers reacting to video content? Uh, fewer, fewer, uh, fewer. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, fewer streamers. Thank you, David. Uh, reacting to video content on Twitch. 
We can only End fucking hope playing. so, right? Because it's some <laughs> of the fucking worst fucking content on the platform. The idea oh, that some man. of the biggest streamers literally just sit there and go, hey, I'm going to react to fucking Gordon Ramsay's kitchen fucking <laughs> nightmares for the billionth fucking time. And people sit there, tens of thousands of people evidently, just lapping that up. You know, I think we do need a few fucking DMCAs because let's be real. You used to get banned for that content, actually. Watching YouTube videos back in the day on Twitch was considered verboten. You couldn't do it. Um, and you would get, and, and Twitch would proactively ban you for it. So uh, the idea that we kind of let it lapse and we put the onus on the people that own the copyright, it's absurd. You're showing a complete TV show, and I don't consider it transformative that you sit there feeding your fucking face while you watch it and occasionally go, oh, that bit was funny. Like, fuck off. I think the, there's more of a gray area, though, in this than some other people. In this, like, I'll give you an example. And Steven well, I know what happened to you with the debates, right? Well, right. Stephen Destiny Benel II will, will know about this, which is that when we have debates, right, the debates really are a public service. And I don't think that a for-profit network should be able to say, we have a monopoly on the debate. If it's worth it to them to produce it, that's great. They can Agreed. do it. They can have their anchors. So for me, that's a gray area, even though, though I, Stephen and I got DMCA'd for that. Mm. Th what we're, this seems to be very clearly not in the gray area. Yeah, no, this isn't in the gray area. And, and in regards to the thing with it, what you said there, yeah, it's a, it's a farce that we've allowed corporatization of political debate uh, to this degree where, you know, they're essentially monetizing it by getting you to go and watch it somewhere. It should be for the people and commentary alongside it should also be for the people. I would fully support, uh, you know, the DNC revising their position and allowing people to stream the debates without uh, aggressive DMCAs. But in regards to this, this is like content that costs a lot of money to produce by TV companies that put it on. They sell advertising against it. They only put it on YouTube once it's had a run on TV because they're also similarly using it to promote more shows, more content of a similar nature. And then lazy ass fucking streamers come watch it on another platform and they're getting paid essentially to watch it. Uh, yeah, that's that's fucked up, and they should be DMCA and people. Do you, do what? Do you guys have a problem? I know Richard has a problem with it. Does any of you other people on the panel have a problem with streamers just watching react? Con do you have a problem with that type of content in nature? I, I I'm fine with letting the market determine whether that's popular or not. I don't care. But yeah, I think it's lazy. But fuck it, if people want to watch it, fuck it. I don't care. Okay. To be completely okay. honest, I think if they're actually reacting and being informatively reacting during said video. I think honestly, as, as it follows the guidelines, you'd be fine. But to sit there and just watch it, fuck no. Fuck out of here. Get off the platform. My apologies for cussing. Oh, you can cuss. It's fine. Only Dan can't cuss. Dan's not allowed to curse. <laughs> he's got a very impressionable, very impressionable audience. audience. Damn, we doing, we're doing Dan like he's dirty, dirty Dan. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, um, uh, so Richard, you're the only one here, I, I suppose, that has a problem with that sort of content. Do, do you not? Do you, do you have anything to say? That well, you I don't have a problem market? with React. Con I mean, it's, it's low hanging fruit. I don't have a problem with if you want to do it, that's fine. But I definitely have a problem with what you're reacting to. You know, if you're reacting to a viral video, obviously fine, do that. If you're reacting to somebody has made a personal uh, YouTube video and you watch it and you pause it and you interject with commentary because you want to give a rebuttal, absolutely fine with that that's how i met hassan hassan did that to me on one of his streams i went on his stream we had a conversation it was insane i left um, isn't this a reaction, a reaction show yeah, aren't we yeah, reacting yeah, to yeah, tweets yeah, no yeah no, oh, yeah, look, no david, david 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 hold david, on hold on you got, uh, one second but, but watch, watching an entire tv show is 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 an is an absurd uh thing to be doing and calling it content and they should be getting dmca for it i hope more companies follow suit it's not your content no, what about YouTubers though who paid like hundreds of thousands to do a video and then they get reacted to? So you're just like, fuck you, you're a YouTuber, you're smaller? Like, fuck that, dude. Like, seriously? Well, no, I'm, I'm not saying that. You still, you would still have the right to DMCA them. But what, what's more likely is if they were doing what I described, it would fall under fair use. You know, we but recently saw this with Sargon and the, uh, and the Aquila. Uh, Aquila obviously case, which completely collapsed recently. A lot of people said Sargon doesn't have a leg to stand on. The way he edited it was deemed to be within the uh, context of fair use. So, okay, D sat sat there watching an entire TV show, barely saying anything, getting paid no, while you're doing it. To fuck off for sure. That is a rebroadcast essentially. That isn't oh, the same. 
Um, I say um, if there's nothing being said, at least in three minutes, at that point, yeah, it's just a rebroadcast. Okay. Um, Destiny, you don't care. Uh, I, fuck live. IP laws. I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. Let the fuck... I don't know. I think that people... <sighs> it's a whole other conversation, but fuck IP laws. I don't care. Okay. It's time to take a vote, then. Let's take a vote. <laughs> the rounds, as I have told you, getting progressively shorter. We're actually Lightning respecting round. the clock today. The clock is being Good respected. One. All right. Go ahead and vote for who you want to keep, not kick. Keep, not kick. Do, 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 do. Keep, not kick. When it's my turn to go, I want Richard doing a defense of me. <laughs> I'm there for you, buddy. I will be your representative. Do you ever your think it's going to be your time to go, David? Do you actually think that you have a... I mean, uh, you're going all the way to the final anyway, David, so I won't be here because this is the round out. So. <laughs> uh, what, what, well, you, what you, you know, quickly realize with this podcast is you can easily plan wh where you're going to go off depending on who's on the <laughs> show. That's depressing. Based on who's on the show, right? Yeah, exactly. Now but, it, it's always it's always good when there's discords in the mix, and it makes it a little bit spicy because you never know what's going to happen there. But, uh, wait, but in but general, Richard, you just sort of predict what you, you can. Are you suggesting that I should try to moderate that a little better? I, I I don't know, dude. I I think you've got people who come on the show and don't say a fucking word. I would I would absolutely implement a rule where you know you should be kicked if you don't contribute. Uh, I, I also think I as well, one. like yeah, you. Well, I I would also say you can't really police. Uh, Discord um, promotion, but we do know there are certain people that absolutely do do it to a ridiculous degree and guarantee they make it to later stages over and over. Wait again. a second, you're one saying of the that good there things about Raj who, is who, who, I, it my platforms mind is lesser known people. You know, think about the surfs. He came on, he was gone straight away because he has a smaller following. Probably could have gone later around to make some interesting points. I'd say Meanwhile, speaking, a guy like Slicker sits there, tucked up in bed, says nothing, Slicker. makes it to the final. You know, just saying. It like didn't even occur to me to mobilize my audience to come in and vote. That's fascinating. I should have done that. I think people should talk more if they're on the show. <laughs> yeah. I completely agree but, but with like, that point. But, but Richard, I mean, it doesn't all. It's not 100% of that. Uh, you know, it, it happens, you know. Oh, no, no. Listen, anyone who takes it seriously is also fucking mentally ill, I think. Like, you've got to, you know, like, I wouldn't. I, I'm not going to get upset about, like, not making it to the fucking final. Like, if it was super important to me, like, I would, I would have a word with a professional because. It's just a bit of fun at the end of the day, but you know, but equally, you know. I have an interesting saying. topic that's kind of relevant to, it's actually relevant to my channel, but I want people to debate it. Um, okay, uh, the poll is in. The bottom two contestants in the poll are Airsoft Fatty and Lumi Roo are in the bottom two. It's between no Airsoft Fatty way. and Lumi Roo. David Pakman, again, the winner of the round. I can't believe it. Um, uh, David, you are not the decider, though, because you won and decided the last round. It's time for Destiny to make Love the it. decision. Give me Destiny, them. Who do I? Destiny, let me go. I'm sick. <laughs> you're sick? I'm sick. Just let me go. <laughs> you, you, you're sick? Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Yeah, because I was She's like, well, you, then I... You, no, I'm never sick of Raj. I'm sick of you, Destiny. Shut up. Um, <laughs> I'm just Kick kidding. them off. I'm done. <laughs> All right, I will kick Bye, them off. Lumi Roo, Lumi Roo, thank you very much. Something must be going around. Somebody else called in sick for Destiny yeah, today, too. Yeah, it's called too. the coronavirus, Raj. <laughs> uh, oh, all right, God. Lumi Roo, go ahead and uh, shout out your channel, please. Oh, hello? Oh, sorry, oh. heck. Um, oh, heck. I'm Lumi Roo. You can find me on twitch.tv, Lumi Roo, my uh, Twitter and Instagram are Lumi Roo, L-U-V-E. Thanks so much for having me on, Raj. I appreciate it. No problem, Lumi Roo. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. Okay, I got another topic. Um, this is this is an interesting conversation, uh, and I want to present it to the panel to hear what you guys think. Uh, recently, um, I have floated the idea or, or been approached at the opportunity uh -oh. to <laughs> have Alibrell back on the Raj Royale podcast, according oh, to... Fuck. Yeah, so my question is, of course, Destiny was... I went straight to Destiny first to see what he thought about the whole little... situation because of the Baby. events that occurred and how we thought how horrible those were. So the question I have for the panel is, do you think... It, to what point should somebody like that said something like he said be completely deplatformed? 
Um, and it can it, someone fill me in though? Yeah, I have no yeah. clue so, who this is or what they said. So there was a there's a content creator by the name of Alabrell who frequented this show. Destiny and him got in a a, a a intense debate over something. I don't remember what it was, but it ended with Alabrell, I believe, calling saying that his baby his his child should have been aborted or something like that. Something along those lines. I think that, that his it. own child or that, that yeah, Stephen that, Kenneth's child. That Stephen's, Stephen's child, child would be better off aborted. if it had so been aborted. That's what the, he said. The, that that's what occurred. Um, uh, that's what happened. There was a huge uh, riot that erupted on live stream fails and, and elsewhere. Um, so the question that I have to the panel is, do you think it would be appropriate to bring him back on in any capacity? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> and, and let me guess. I bet Steven said it was okay. I don't <laughs> care, dude. I think it's all Yes, funny. he did. So that, that's, that, that brings up another point right in the there. topic. So R Richard, let's hear from you. Well, listen, right, um, I actually had to delete a video when I, when I heard that because even though me and Steven aren't as close as we used to be, obviously I know his kid, know him. Um, I think, uh, you know, you have to remember that Destiny's son is, is old enough to go on the internet and see this stuff and hear this stuff uh, and will have an, a general awareness of what that means. And when you boil it down to it, its argument, what Alabrell was intimating was Destiny is such a poor father, his child would have better off, be better off dead. It's fucking disgusting. Um, I, I, I absolutely couldn't, I, I could barely contain my rage hearing about it. I don't know how Steven was able to sort of be so uh, wow. gracious about it. I don't, I don't think he should be deplatformed. Twitch should have absolutely banned him, but of course that they weren't going to take that risk. I think Alabrell is everything that's rotten with this new generation of Twitch streamers that have come in grifting with their politics, you know, asinine takes on everything, you know, no critical thinking. And then on top of that, what they do is they beef by saying absolutely outrageous things about streamers with much bigger platforms uh, just so they can benefit from the hate traffic. I think he's a fucking garbage human. I, and I think if he was on the Raj, I wouldn't want to come on and listen to his fucking performative bullshit. I think wow. he's trash. Okay, now Destiny, I'm you curious what your take is on the situation. Oh because I want, I'm curious what your take is on the situation since you were personally involved and personally affected by it. Uh, I'm wondering why you your decision would be to say that you're okay with it. I I just like to fight with people. I think it's funny when people try to come at me with shit like this. Like when it's kind of the point where you're attacking my kill, like it's pretty obvious that you're really frustrated. So I don't know. That's funny to me. So it, um, I mean, it is fucked up in terms of like Nathan has to deal with all of that. But like, there's so much more that I that's like out of my control. That's just kind of like being a public figure. That kind of stuff is always going to be a part of my life. There's not much I can do about it. Now, would you would would you say that like uh, what what if there was an apology issued? I don't actually, and the point of my life, I don't, I don't accept apologies from anybody. <laughs> really? Why <laughs> that's is that? A, that's a different, I don't, I don't believe in apologies. I think they're bullshit. Um, if somebody fucks up something in, in my life, like all I say is like, listen, just don't do it again. And we're cool. Like I, like 99% of the time when somebody makes an apology to somebody, it's because they want to feel better because they want to feel like the other person forgave them for some shit. I don't believe in anybody's apologies. Usually, um, now like now there's rare exception. Maybe you do something and you genuinely don't know that like you're fucking with somebody else or like you have no idea that you like stumble into like an awkward territory. But like if you're of sound mind and you're doing something that's fucked up, like I don't really want to hear an apology for it. Like just don't do wow. it again. If you know that it's bad and that's it. Does Otherwise, I think you disagree with that. Uh, the Apologies are stupid and uh, like you don't accept apologies anymore. I, I think I, I think the apology, right, would just be completely insincere. Like, you know, this is a guy who when he comes on the show, he pretends like he doesn't even want to fucking be here, by the way, breaks every rule and courtesy you've ever asked him to implement, right? Just so he can get some attention. He's told, it, it's not just Destiny, he told Slickery that he hopes he dies on the show. He's told multiple people that he hopes they die on the fucking show. He's just some fucking shut in, incel fucking loser that just derails the show for his own fucking performative uh you know attention seeking behaviors and what what good would an apology be he's realized now oh dear i'm slipping into irrelevancy without being on the biggest podcast on twitch please can i come back so what would the apology mean like f forever fuck that guy he's garbage david wow <laughs> well, listen, david, i don't do know any, do you have any insight i uh, I do. I, I do known have insight. You for a here. few hours, and I already look up to you. I don't know why. Here's what. Here, here, by the way, how old a guy are you? I look up to you too. I'm 26, actually, some of your videos are great. I'm a big you. fan. I, I, I almost like. I don't know. I didn't know who you were before. Like, uh, like Perfect. very much about you. And you were like one of the most popular people. So I looked into you, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'd love to have him on the show. But I've had you on the show for a few hours, and I just really like when you speak. Good. I think we have a good rapport. So here's okay. my view on the whole thing. I don't know who this person is. 
it sounds very toxic what they said. I do believe in apologies and I accept apologies, but it's always trust but verify. If someone decides to apologize, that's great. Let's see what the actions are that follow the apology. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. From my very, very quick research, this person has 2,200 Twitter followers and 11,000 on Twitch. I don't know that there's really any advantage to having them back on. Like, what are you doing? Like, do you need this person on? Oh, How is it good for you? Nice. Well, Jesus, business Andy over well, here. Well, now, now, David, um, I would say, you know, and, and for the record, um, we've no plans have been made at this point. We've talked about it. We've entertained the idea. Don't, I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, Good. But a lot of people would say that uh, it does, in, in terms of helping shows, it is important sometimes to have a villain of some sort that does mm. kind of rile up the the cast. And there have been particular people that have played that role. Um, specific, uh, one person being, uh, t look at Wes, by the way, right? Look at Wes. Look at... Uh, Look at somebody like uh, Casey Tron at times. Look at somebody that people dislike, but some t at times, or Cutie Cinderella riled the. Well, actually, no, people really like Cutie Cinderella. Uh, Bridget, there there was a time when like she was a super villain. Uh, remember, I don't know if you guys remember like a Savannah Sushi. Um, sure. So there's like there, there's I'm listing names that maybe you've not heard of, but but like That's there right. is something to be said about somebody that kind of people dislike in a way because that it, makes sense. It gives, Are you saying your show is scripted, Raj? Uh, yes, <laughs> actually, and I'm coming out and saying everything is completely scripted. Yep, absolutely. Now this is interesting though. So let me. I'm curious, Raj. Because... Oh, you cut out, is... David. Oh, sorry. Can you can you can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you're back. Is there a history where if you know that there is a sort of troublemaker coming on, will you feed them lines of attack in advance so that no. they will then go after people? No, I won't. I, in fact, That's a good question, Raj. Do no, you? I, I don't. I promise. I, I, you can't, I don't think we've even considered can, that as a possibility can, before. That's actually really I interesting. Mean, hey, you idea. bring that up no, out of nowhere. I, I, I can, first of all, I can barely like, keep yeah, the show together. together. Excuse me, Destiny. Don't be rude and interrupt me, okay? And trying to intimidate me because you feel like you're smarter with this superiority. Go look at me, my name. All right. Anyway, as I was saying, as I was saying, um, yeah. What was what the were question? I fucking forgot the question. <laughs> if you feed people, people attack lines. Uh, people attack lines <laughs> oh yeah. So the drama. So no, no, no. Because the thing is, is one of the things that I do make sure of before everybody comes on the show is that they're prepared for what is going to happen. As you know, David, I asked you, have you watched the show before? Have you seen it? Are you, you know, this sort of thing? I'll have more in-depth conversations with people that haven't seen it to prepare them for what's about to happen. Um, I can't, in good conscience, be like feed attack lines for people to say uh, it. I mean, like, you know, people come up with in, in, in like jokes and stuff like that, but there's never been like a, a fully like written out script. It would take Got far it. too long. And honestly, it's really endearing for people to say that I script the show because they're giving me way too much credit. So thank you. Thank you for th thank you for all those people that do that. Uh, get, you're thank giving you. me all, all sorts of credit. I appreciate that. Any you realize that chat when you say I script the shows, that means that you imply that I put time and effort into it, and all of this is planned, right? <laughs> Think about that. Raj, you're in shambles right now. No, Are you I'm okay? not. I'm very comfortable. I'm I'm high as a fucking kite, and I'm actually Raj, more comfortable scary. speaking <laughs> than I have been in a long time. This is fucking awesome. I love this shit. Okay. All right. Let's see. It's the end of the. It's the end of the round. It's the end of the road for you, Rob. <laughs> it's the end of the round. It's time to vote for who you want to keep, not kick, on the Raj Royale podcast. Oh, I'm sorry. Did anybody have any lasting feelings about that? Hello? All right. Sparrow cool. Kind of made me the Great. Thank you, Minx, for your powerful contributions. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's time to. It's time to vote. It's time to vote. God damn it, you got me, Destiny. Fuck it. Everything's scripted. I wrote it. Line for line, word for word. David, tell him. Tell him the word for word script I gave you. I admit, you accidentally shared the script with me instead of the link. Yes. I, I literally copied and pasted the entire script. So we'll see how we'll see how it pans out and how it's planned. Go ahead and vote yeah. for you want to keep not kick. Wait, is this the same poll? Oh shit, Lumi Roo's on this poll. Sorry, different poll. God damn it! Damn it! How are you, Raj? What's going on? Shut up! That was that, that was just to prove it wasn't scripted. That's what I think. Yeah, job, no, that Raj. was actually nice, written nice in the work. script. We actually scripted yeah. that conversation and anticipated, and so we made a scripted error. This is a real, this is the new poll. 
The new poll is here. It's the new poll, you idiots! Click the fucking link! The new link! God. Holy shit. How does okay? anybody stream for more than four hours a day? Oh my god. I don't know how anybody does it, actually. Every time I try it, like, four hours is the limit as well. Whenever I do it, I'm like, I'm just so fucking... Mods, please stop trying to... Stop script. trying to... What do you call it? Fuck, I forgot what they were trying to do. Okay. The poll is out. And David Pakman, congratulations. Yes. You have won the round again. Wow. I'm here. You have won the round again, David. And now it is your turn to vote. You must choose between Richard Lewis and Airsoft Fatty as who you, whom you would like to eliminate from the show. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, I... Uh... I, I think that I would like to... What options do I have? Like, do I have, like, a dial-a-friend or anything? No, no, you, you, you could, we can you make... You could call a friend. Who do you want to call? It's part of the... Sh Richard, your mic cut out. Richard? Hello? David? Shit. Son of a bitch. Shit. We've lost audio. Hold on. One moment. One second. Hold on, everybody. Don't worry, we'll get back. Hello, hello, hello? Richard. Hello. Oh, Richard? Did, I, I thought I, I thought someone had just took action in their own hands and just like no. kicked me off. No, <laughs> Richard, say say with what you were saying, Richard. Oh, I was just saying like what you're supposed to do is uh, we're, we're supposed to like beg to to stay on the show or something. I think it's the Richard that's the read the process. script. Stick to the script, Richard. Oh, sorry. My the bad. mere the mere mention of begging has so offended me that I'm going to have to kick Richard off. No worries. Oh, wow. Okay. Richard Lewis has been eliminated from the Raj Rao <laughs> podcast. Oh. The first time you've eliminated somebody that didn't have the lower amount of votes. Richard, wow, yeah, I know. really fucking hate him then, Jesus. Richard, yeah, thank no, you so but much. I, no, but I, I understand what it is because while David Patman plays it cool and everything, obviously he is trying to grow his Twitch, so he has to pander to the chat, right? So I get it, dude. It's fine. I should pull up the chat. I've not looked at the chat, but oh, I I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely sure that's true. <laughs> uh, so uh, anyway, yeah, great to be back, Raj. It's yes. been a while. I um, uh, hope to be on the next one if yes. you need anybody. I'm it, off to go this, play there some There is Dota. no next one, Richard. This is the last Royale podcast. Oh, is it the last Royale? Canceled. Well, good. Man, yes. Oh no! Nice you actually should to, come on the next uh, one. You can take my place. Sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a plan. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thank well, no, you. It was, it was great. To, it was great to talk to all you guys again. Uh, love to the non morons in the chat. Love you as well, Raj. David, as I said, big fan. Uh, Pleasure. Ni nice to meet you and do a podcast with you. Likewise. And see the rest of you next time. Thank all you. Right, thank you, Richard. Have a good day. No worries. Much we'll love. See you in all Vegas. Right. You cap me because yeah, that's care. not true. I'm not actually canceling the Raj Rao podcast. Uh, okay. All right, uh, congratulations on making it here to the finals, uh, or the final four, I should say. Uh, this round is going to go Im really quick, and then people are going to get eliminated, and it's going to get crazy, and then we're going to get lightning to round, and it's going to be crazy. Okay, the lightning we'll round, stay. this actually might need a little bit more time, so we'll, we might just roll this into two rounds and eliminate two people. We'll see. Um, the, the next topic is related to, um, oh gosh, here, this is... Related to, uh, have you, have you, are you guys up to date on the Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp situation? No. Oh, yeah. Was not up to date on it at all, David? She was being abusive or something? Yeah, so I think she, she alleged that, like, uh, Johnny Depp was abusing her or whatnot, and then an audio recording came out saying that nobody would believe you, uh, and 
Uh, so uh, it then came out that she was allegedly faking those injuries and claiming no one would believe Johnny Depp. Um, so the question I have is, should the punishment for her be just as much as if he had actually d done the things? Oh, 100 percent, yes. Okay, thank you, Airsoft. Go ahead. Let's hear what you have to say. <laughs> Let's face. Everyone's always complaining about reality and equality. Well, here's the thing. In reality, she did something that is almost equally as bad with the false accuse accusations. Right. Therefore, I feel like the same punishment should be applied. It should not matter whether or not it happened or not. If it happened, Johnny should be taken care of. But if she's lying, she needs to face the music. So the, the, Otherwise, you just sit there and take away any stance anyone who's a true victim would have. So, David, essentially what he's saying is she should get the same punishment as what Johnny Depp would have received for assaulting somebody, essentially, because she for lied a false, about it. For a false for a allegation. False accusation is what he's saying. Uh, okay. No, I. so I, I think our justice system is very well equipped to deal with false allegations of crimes. And um, I, I don't uh, have, I've seen no strong argument morally nor legally for why the punishment for falsely reporting a crime would be the punishment for having committed that crime. Um, and we've talked about false rape allegations on my program before, which of course are extremely rare. And the punishment for a false rape allegation, that that has its own statute, and I can think of no moral or legal reason to do what is being suggested. Yeah, it gets really weird when people bring out this like eye for an eye shit. Like they're right. just like really mad. It's like, I mean, if you make a false allegation, there should be a penalty for that. But the idea that the penalty should somehow be the same as for assaulting him, that's just like really weird. So people, um, people are saying that she did assault him uh, and she did abuse him. Uh, well, then she should sure, be but then charged. The question, yeah, it would be then, yeah, if she was assaulting someone, she should be charged for assault, but not for the should, lying. Should she, should the she face an additional charge, whether that be to the extreme of assaulting somebody, an additional charge? There is there is a statute, right, David, for making a false claim, right, already? Yeah, so if she, if she is accused both of re falsely reporting a crime and assault, then there would be charges for both, and there could be penalties for both. But the idea that you know she should be charged... Uh, on the basis of what she falsely accused someone of doing, if that's indeed what she did, and I have no knowledge of that, and does so not she, make sense. She, she allegedly has admitted it on the audio, uh, according to. She allegedly has admitted. It. I, okay. I just I always say allegedly when I haven't checked it myself, but that's what people. Uh, are yeah, saying, I haven't. So, either. so um, okay. Anybody else disagree? Uh, Airsoft Fat, are you going to double down on what you said? And and people are saying that he allegedly <laughs> lost his up, finger I, too. I think it should be equal, no matter what. What? You are you are making a false accusation that destroys careers. You make a false accusation that destroys families and destroys all this bullshit. And then to come out and be a lie, and that person has to try and pick oh, yeah, those yeah, pieces yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Fuck you if you falsely accuse. Get the same amount of time. Get fucked. I'm. I'm I've dealt with that type of bullshit before. So, no, just some, deal with it. So you're, you're, really? you're, you're gonna falsely accuse someone of something so extreme they can lose their fucking career then yeah, you need to lose your own fucking career because clearly you don't give a fuck about your own field. So, Dear God. So Airsoft, so like you don't, so there are statutes in place as David alluded to of punishing people for um, coming out with false claims. Do you not think those are enough and they need to go to the extreme of the actual uh, claim that they're, uh, the falsified claim that they're um, saying? Well, you keep breaking up on me here, Sorry. but my whole idea is, I think flat out, we're going to make, we'll say, of assault, we'll say, David makes a claim that I assaulted him. Throughout that whole claim being disputed, throughout the whole case, my name's being sullied because he's claiming I assaulted him. Even if at the end of all this bullshit, it comes out, he's lying, I still take all that damage to my name because he still claimed it and enough people were backing him. I think it should still be the same. You've done damage to my life just through the accusation. And now that it's proven wrong, you should be able to walk away. Fuck that. No. Well, you so I think that nobody's talking about walking I away. Bad. I think, and, and again, you're pointing out that there are repercussions to being falsely accused of a crime. I'm right there with you, my friend. Uh, I think where we disagree is that the justice system has already accounted for that. And there are criminal statutes. I just looked up the Massachusetts one, for example. We could argue it's not strict enough, but it's very much antithetical to the type of justice system we have to say the punishment for a false accusation is the same as if you had committed the crime you accused someone else of committing. It's not uh, it's, it's not very fitting of a 2020 
uh, a developed nation. Okay, great. Okay, then let's take it away from assault and take it to something more extreme. And we'll use fruit as an alternative. Fruit? What? Let's say you get accused of grape. What? Okay. That is something that carries a lot more weight to it than a simple assault. <laughs> and yet you were saying that a false accuser of that should not face the same fucking time. I've once been wait, accused wait, wait, of... Wait, 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 it doesn't even make sense. Like, 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 you're you're echoing. Here. Destiny, go ahead. Mute your mic. It doesn't even make echo. sense. Like, if somebody accused you of rape or if you want to go to that then, then you go to civil court and try to claim, like, damages or some shit. Yeah, we have like, a system. Yeah, like, it doesn't make sense that it would be, like, the same. Like, this is just an emotional stand. Civil is you threw an egg, it went over your neighbor's fence, hit their tree. That has nothing to do with what that civil is court is. Civil. <laughs> that is planned out. Okay, that mind. is something you don't just randomly go, okay, hell yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. It's compelling legally, but. All right. Let's take a vote. Uh, unless Airsoft Fatty, I, I don't think, I think we're going to have to agree to disagree on this one. <laughs> yeah. um, Airsoft has drawn a hard line in the sand. It's the nuances of jurisprudence. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's vote for who you want to keep, not kick. Keep, not kick. All right. <laughs> What's so funny, Dan? Oh, man. Is this the right poll? No, Is this not. the right stream is a different question. God, Ooh. Dan, you're fucking with me. <laughs> You're fucking with me, Dan. You know that? Dan Pacman. I actually have gotten hate mail written to Dan Pacman, which is why that's extra funny. Oh, really? <laughs> All right. Hey, Dan, can I analyze the debates with you? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you have in mind, but... Don't do it. He's going to make you go to Hassan's stream. David, you and me, we're the debate analysts, okay? Fuck this guy. This guy's a lefty grifter. He's a Bernie or Buster. Excuse you don't me. want to talk I'm to this guy, trust me, okay? okay? He's I a Bernie or Buster. I am not. He's lying to he me. He said yesterday, he's like, I'd vote for Putin or Tulsi Gabbard. That is for not true. Fucking Tulsi? Joe Biden or any Destiny others. Is yeah, I know. I was liar. shocked when he said it. I was like, I can't believe you would say something so absurd. No, I said, yep. I, I, I will probably vote for somebody who is not Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And it's not Putin or Tulsi. He was saying yesterday there's no difference between the Democrats and the Republicans. He was saying all sorts of crazy shit. I, said, I couldn't believe it. He was distraught over Iowa. That is not true. I don't even know how to spell Iowa. All right. Go ahead and vote. Vote, vote for you want to keep, not kick. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. David, did you decide last time? Yes, I kicked Richard off. Hello? Hello, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, just making sure you hear that. <laughs> you gotta vote, chat. Keep, not kick. Just out of curiosity, chat, who are you gonna vote for? If it was Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, I'm just curious what the... Your chat, chat is full of Trumples, 100%. Really? I've never oh, really? seen a more Trump-inclined chat my entire really? life. You think so? Right. Yep. You think I have the most Trump-inclined chat on the platform? Easily. The most conservative chat. Really? Lecture fan just comes to your offline chat every day and just talks to all of the people that think the exact same Why does he same get voted he off all the time? <laughs> why, why if... Why if, why if, the, if why the you have to make everything so a conspiracy theory. Chill. Oh. Okay, well, it, it didn't hold any water. It didn't hold any water. Well, now they're all going to say Trump because you said Trump. I actually think there's a lot of Bernie bros in here. We could pull, <laughs> we could straw pull it. Uh, okay. All right, let's see here. All right, where the hell is this damn thing? Son of a bitch. All right. The results are in. Destiny, you have won the round. Congratulations. You must choose Didn't between the someone two. last time? Did you choose somebody last time? I think David I kicked did. Richard off last time. Yeah, David <sighs> kicked off Richard. So, Destiny, you must choose between the two lowest amount of people. Airsoft, Fatty, or Minx? Minx, spy. I'm no. astounded. I, I, I think it's because my opinions the last round were very controversial. 
So I do respect that. I did expect that outcome when I spoke so boldly. Yeah, Minx. Yeah, you, you have to understand that you will be held accountable of those sorts of things. Uh, Minx, thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate it. Go ahead and shout out your channel. Great. Thanks for having me. Just a Minx. Bye. Bye, Minx. Thank you. Okay, Bye, I, have one, I have one question. This is a speed round, and then we get to the finals, which is going to be very interesting. I don't know who it's going to be against. Uh, the question I have is, uh, Mr. Destiny here is, uh, see, this is how good of a friend I am. I'm promoting your, your, your activities, Destiny. Destiny is, can I, I don't want to read the question like my show, uh, the, my, my, uh, mods wrote it as, um, it, they call you a Twitch playboy. I don't think that's a good, <laughs> they say rumor Why? has it that Twitch playboy Destiny yeah, is starting okay, yeah, to let's stream. Not, yeah, let's not do that it's, one. It's but, a joke, okay. right? Obviously, yeah. Destiny's not a playboy. Real okay. funny, dude. Okay. Perpetuating those harmful stereotypes. Okay, Thanks. all right. Um, mm -hmm. So rumor has it that Destiny is starting a new streamer house, um, bursting at the seams with Twitch heavyweights like Wes, by the way. Uh, the, Desti <laughs> the Destiny streamer house is sure to be fat with a ph uh the question is uh how much would you guys have to be paid to live in a house with west by the way what a great question wow i'm sure that these other two can engage with <laughs> okay, us so you know what? Uh, david what about for you <laughs> you know. all right now how much you have to be what? paid to live in a house with uh west by the way the guy from earlier I, I i mean i live with my girlfriend i'm fine doing what i'm doing I don't great know. great answer okay <laughs> Aristotle, what about you buddy? <laughs> I'm sorry, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> what? This is horseshit. Everything, keep, everything keeps cutting out. What's what do you on? mean? What, what's so slanderous about it, Wes? Uh, no, go fuck yourself. I create more content for other people than I do myself, okay? I am an absolute golden asset. Where did this guy come from? from? Wait, what are you talking about? Where, what are you, what are you, who told you what we were talking about? Were you not? What do you mean? You think I don't watch the goddamn stream? You were watching because that had nothing to do with what we were saying. You just said how much would you have to cost to live in a house with West, by the way? Yeah, you but that has nothing to do with you being entertaining. <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. What would be wrong with living in a house with me then? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm <laughs> sorry. Say something. You know, I actually. Look, Wes, Destiny I'm... thought about me because he's an intelligent person and he knows we click well. This is almost like incredible. incredible. I've, hung, I've hung out with Wes many times and it's been a great experience all the way around. But not everybody oh. feels that way, so I was just. Curious. I don't care. I, this, Twitch chat's a bunch of fucking retards. This is not doing. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! No, with the ableist language. Oh, fuck off. Rim isn't here. <laughs> I know he retired from Twitch. Yeah. Fuck off. Uh -huh. Yikes. So Destiny, let's, Just let's hear. I want to hear about your, your 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 streamer house and what you're trying to accomplish and who you'd like to be in it. Maybe there's somebody in the audience. Is this like a real estate business? There is what I so there's is there's a potential that there is a house that is opening in uh, the LA area. That's a really awesome, nice house, and I'm looking for other content to fill it with. And I've reached out to some people, and I'll see what I feel like putting together after I see who responds in the positive. There you go. I actually get a good real estate attorney. I actually think Wes is a good choice for the house. Uh, wow, thanks, Raj. Yeah, I actually do. Uh, I didn't actually write the question, but I read it. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, and you're looking for men and women at this time? Both? Yeah, I'd say both. Okay. All right, great. Um, Seem reticent to talk about it. Yeah. Well, no, no, because Raj tries to make it sound like I'm looking for like a fuck house of people to put no, together. No, what are you talking that. about? I didn't say so that. So Destiny Steven Playboy from Twitch is looking for uh, people to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I did not. I did not. Did I? Did I? I, I know you don't accept apologies, but I apologize. Exactly. I don't. Because you're I'm not accepting. You just do want not to feel better about your dumbass can, shit. Can, can we just do this whole? Like I'll just move. We'll just move on from it because it was inappropriate. And I'll just oh no, that's again. fine. No, let's go. Let's we asked the question: How much would we have to be paid to live in a house? With, yeah. With, how much? What about you? Good yeah. Yeah. Airsoft, do you know Wes? <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's go to the voting <laughs> round, huh? What do you think? <laughs> no, what are we even voting on? We're voting, David. Shut up, David. All right. Well, in case you guys missed what just happened there, Raj got called the fuck out hard for scripting his whole show. He just tried to deviate from the script. Now you saw what a real Raj Rao would look like if he didn't actually stay on script the whole time. God damn it. That's what just There's happened There's no debate here. here. There's no debate to be had here. Okay. Um, it's time to vote. You're voting for who you want to keep, <laughs> not kick. David, you're voting on this round, How the performance of the previous round, which was complete silence. So... The so basically, we're voting, voting on my opinion of living with someone I don't know at yes. a house Destiny is managing. Yes. 
Got Absolutely. It. That's what's happening. Can I just say I never even got to answer because everyone's yeah, audio. I was trying so to get you to answer, <laughs> Airsoft, but you didn't. You didn't. You didn't respond. He's not, he can't hear us. I never got to hear the question. You guys are so choppy on my end. Oh, oh. well, the question. I'm sorry, Airsoft. That's rude of me. Uh, Airsoft. The question was uh, <laughs> related to um, you. Not Don't you. be a West Fuck. now. Uh, Destiny's creating a, 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 a streamer house. Wes is included in it. Um, how much would you have to be paid to live with him is basically what the question would be. A grand a month minimum. Really? That's actually not bad. Really? That's actually Two grand joining bonus. And I actually can vouch. I don't think Wes would be unreasonable to live with at all. I think he's actually a pretty clean person. I've met him in person. I've hung out with him. And he's actually a <laughs> pretty nice guy. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's time to vote. You're voting for who you want to keep, not kick. Keep, not kick. Here we go. Person with the two people at the top of the poll automatically win, and the person on the bottom gets eliminated in this round. David, is this the worst thing you've ever been on? No, no, no. I've really? been on with Jesse Lee Peterson. Holy shit. You oh, I just had like my third or fourth conversation. <laughs> no, you know what? I mean, listen, the thing about the Jesse Lee Peterson thing was it was 50 minutes and I could then post it to my channel and it went crazy. It was a viral video. I yeah. can't put a four hour thing to my channel. You, you know? can. Have you ever heard of ed editing? You could have edited. You could edit. <laughs> I've it never heard of that. I've never heard of editing. No, you could edit your person. That's what destiny does. He, he edits his perspectives. Holy shit. This is almost a three way tie. This is unbelievable. I've never seen it. It's unprecedented. I should do some editing. I like that. Yeah. So Jesse Lee Peterson yes. was the worst. Was no, it actually was really fun. No, really fun. Is Airsoft doing another show while this show is going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, answering my friend over here. Uh, yeah. Oh, you motherfucker, you're gonna release about a camera? Okay. But the Mr. Nick over here is talking about how we win. He's gonna dump water on me. Uh, oh, really? Right now? Gatorade for the football. Now? Let's see, the, the is vote is currently tied pretty much. Uh, well, let's see, let me. I think actually it's pretty, it's been pulling away now. Um, all right. Vote, vote, vote. This is crazy. It's unbelievable, David. It's what it is. It's quite it's, it's a sensation. The anticipation. It is moida. Okay. Poll is shut down. Is, is Airsoft off mic? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. He's just having a lot of like uh, connectivity problems. Or whatever. <laughs> you can't hear us. I don't know why. David, will you use this show as an educational piece for your audience? I, I will. This is actually, this is going to be part of a sociological study. <laughs> All right. I'm going to finish. I'm just going to wrap up the poll right now. Yeah. Let's check it. Holy shit. Is it following the script? Uh, I, I think so. Okay. We've All just right. gone off script the last five minutes. Has it? Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? It's neck and neck between you and Fatty. I'm going to have to do a separate poll. Jesus right. Christ, Raj. <laughs> what? No, what? Fatty has taken the lead. Airsoft Fatty. I'm, I was doing... It's your name. I wasn't calling you a Fatty. I was... Right. I was... I was, I was the name. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not <laughs> what I was... What's wrong with you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who advances? Destiny In a way, we've all won. Stuff. I'm sorry, I wasn't. That's not what I meant. <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead. Who advances to the second round? Vote. Ooh, Wait. I think I'm actually gonna be out. Wait, what? Yeah. What? I'm losing so now. Now you're losing. Yep. Jesus Christ! Do I have to do another? This is all fucked up. Let's see the results. I think there's people trolling the poll. Yeah, really it, think so? I think I called it. Yeah, what did you what did you call oh, it? You, what did you... Now Airsoft has the lead and Pac-Man's getting eliminated. <laughs> uh, God, I don't know what to do. This is crazy. Chat, look, this is what is happened. there a slur I'd be able to use that would get me back? <gasps> <in the lead? laughs> yes, no, actually, David. if you say all the racial slurs, you get instantly to first place. Try no, to that's not how it works in a video game. I want to actually make this very clear, chat. I want to make this very clear, okay? Yeah. Let me be clear. Uh-huh. 
Chat, when you talk about somebody in the polling position, obviously you vote and they get higher in the poll, okay? Right now, it's a fucking three-way tie now between Airsoft Fatty, Destiny, and David Pakman at 33%. This is what it looks like. David Pakman, Airsoft Fatty, er, er, Airsoft Fatty, Destiny, and David Pakman at 33%. I don't know how to do this. Currently, right now, in the in the poll that the audience wants between Destiny and and Airsoft Fatty to advance to the final, currently Destiny is winning that one, 61% to 39%. Jesus, are there like prop side bets here? <laughs> yes, there's a lot of money involved, which is why it's critical that we get this right. <laughs> Destiny, are you mad at me? What? I don't know. I'm sorry. You're wasting my fucking time on this shit ass fucking show again, Raj. I'm just I've just surged into first place again. Oh yeah, shit, the surge. I know, see that's ridiculous. See that's what I'm saying. Now you're in first place, so when do we even call the poll? I guess at eight o'clock. <laughs> How many <laughs> what percentage of precincts are reporting right now, Raj? Uh God, that's hard to say. Oh my god, <laughs> look. Oh god. There's he, definitely another show he's going He's trying to pull there. ahead. Wait a second, is that filtered water? We could do another speed round. Hmm. 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 We could keep everybody and do another speed round of five minutes. Hmm. But what would that prove? It's just gonna keep tying is what it's gonna happen. I don't know Sounds what like to decide. Sounds like we should do it the Iowa way. Flip some coins. I think, you think we should flip a coin? The Iowa I've actually eked way? out a little lead now. People are gonna say that the coin flip was rigged though, because I can't see it on camera. Oh. This is gonna be uh, cool. And who are, we flipping the and who are we flipping the coin between? That's the real question. Flip it, do, make a tourney bracket or something. I don't know. Uh oh, Destiny has fallen several percentage points behind. Uh oh. Oh boy. Jesus, now Destiny's way behind. After David was way behind. It's Thanks, just Rush. not fair anymore. So yeah, the only fair way hard. to do it is to go to Twitter. We're gonna do an official Twitter poll, and this will be the deciding factor. You vote for who you wanna you you to win. Or excuse me, who you wanna keep on the Raj Royale podcast. Who do you want to keep on the Royale? Twitter, here we go. I'm gonna put the poll together right now. Here we go. Destiny, Airsoft, Fatty, and whoop, and we're gonna add one more. David Pakman. I just need to see some sort of consistency here. It's just all over the place. And we'll let this poll run for Two minutes. No, how about three minutes? What do you think, David? Five minutes. No, just two minutes. I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get the status here. Get the status. What, what, what airsoft? Check your chat and read. You got some people arguing results of the polls recently. I know. Uh, Fury. There's a lot of fury. There's a lot of controversy in today's voting. Today. Shit. Jesus. This is a disaster. This is an absolute <laughs> What a disaster. mess! What's going on right now? Oh, man. This is an absolute disaster. I, I might have to call in some, uh, some counsel here to determine the vote. There is a vote that wants Destiny to advance over Airsoft Fatty. There is a vote that says Airsoft Fatty and David Pakman in the finals. And there is a vote <laughs> that says on Twitter that David Pakman and Destiny are in the finals. Let's check Twitter actually real quick. Let's refresh it. The Twitter poll has Destiny at 36%, David Pakman at 35%, Airsoft Fatty at 
Jesus. Wow. The Twitch poll, the straw poll. Oh. Jesus. Oh. Christ. I don't know if our institutions can handle this type of thing. I don't think so either. <laughs> All systems failing at a critical moment. I know. What's going on? Okay. Yeah? Is it? The only thing we can do, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do one more straw poll, the same straw poll. <laughs> okay. Hear me out. And we're going to put it out in the chat, and we're going to cut it off at an exact time. Okay? No matter what. But you shouldn't what. say what the time limit is. No. That, we must say what it is, because then oh. people will know that what it is. Okay. I'm going to put this poll out. Stand by for a time. We'll have three minutes of voting, chat. So, if what you're saying in the chat is true, it should yield the same results. We will cut it, like, without a doubt, without any Shit. doubt, at three minutes. Okay? That's what we'll do. All now, right. wouldn't it go just one third, one third, one third again as a goop? Well, we'll see no, what happens. No matter what that is, the exact results. Okay. Oh, I see. Even if it's off by one vote, Raj. God. Yes. Even if it's off All by right. one vote. All right. Even if it's off by one vote, chat. If you want your person to win, then go ahead and vote for them. Uh, I need to create a straw poll. Who do you want to keep? Is Raj's public identity known, or are you kind of like a secret guy? I'm not secret. No, I'm not on camera. Name, last name at where he lives. His name is Austin. He. Yeah. I'm sorry. Here, so you got Destiny. Here we go. Yep, that's me. We got Airsoft Fatty. Hey, actually, and Raj, can David I just stop Pac you real quick? Uh -oh. Sure. What's up, Raj? I don't even think you need to do that. I've got internal results that say I've won. David, so does Airsoft Fatty's camp. They're reporting <laughs> victory as well. Okay, here we go. Well, here's luck, the chat. thing. At one point, I was sitting at well over 2,100 votes. Fatty, right. Airsoft Fatty. <laughs> right now, I will call. I'm putting the vote in the chat. I will call the results at approximately 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Exactly. Five eight. minutes, Jesus, or three minutes, Jesus Christ. Eight. Why? You don't think that's enough time? It's just a it's lot more of more than enough. It's too 8 p.m. Yeah, Eastern. I will call the poll. That's it. It's done right after that. I will take a screenshot. No matter what the poll results are, I will call it. So go ahead oh, and vote. So brave. At that time, that's what will happen. All right. Here My internal go. results were wrong, it turns out. Well, let's see what happens. At this exact moment, when, it, when the clock strikes 8 p.m. Eastern, I will call the poll. I should have done this from the start. How stupid of me. Holy shit, it's neck and neck. All right. All right. All right. All right. It seems like Destiny and I are really dividing the, the political order. left community. <laughs> to the advantage of Aaron. I'm convinced Aaron's doing an additional show while, while he's... <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Like, who, who is he talking to? <laughs> Wait, yeah, we can't hear your mic right now. <laughs> the vote will be called in one call minute. Oh, we can hear him now. One minute. What are we doing this? What? I think the issue is Aaron's mic is in a different room. One minute. <laughs> Here we go. I'm ready to take a screenshot when my clock strikes. Come on, guys. We got one minute. One minute. Oh, fuck. This is so close. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm actually about to pour water on my head, if anybody's wondering. <laughs> yeah.
And that's it. Called it. All right. This is the final vote. Airsoft Fatty, you are advancing. Oops. You are advancing to the finals. Congratulations, Airsoft Fatty. David Pakman, you are advancing to the finals. Wow. Congratulations. Destiny, you Thank have been you. eliminated from the show. Good luck, D. Steven. Harry, the liberal torch. I believe in you, buddy. Thank you. I will try. Thank you, Destiny. Appreciate you. Go All ahead right, we'll see you soon. Twitch.tv yeah, slash Destiny. And you're having a meetup tonight. Do you want to shout that out? Um, yeah, I'm having a meetup at a Starbucks in Culver City. I'll announce it on my stream in like an hour or whatever. Okay, thank oh, you, shit. Destiny. That sounds dangerous. Take what? care. Can you not say it like that? Now you're making me worried. <laughs> I would cancel that right away. All right, man, I'll talk to you. Uh, have fun. Peace out. Thank you, Destiny. Bye-bye. Okay. What, are you trying to like shoo me off? Like no, a two-second shoo? I, I would not do that meetup. That seems like a my very bad idea. You're trying no, to like no, kick no, me off real quick. Maybe I want to hang around for the next round. You, I, you, people can, find, you, can, you can hang around if you want. All right. The final round here between Just kidding. Airsoft... I'd never hang around this shit, so fuck off. See you later. Bye. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is this is the round between Airsoft Fatty and David Pakman. Okay. Okay. Somebody please clip this last round for me. This may be very interesting to my audience. Okay. All right. So we must present a question uh, to you both that would probably be relevant and equal um, to you both. So, Pacman, what's something you're interested in? Well, I'm trying to find something mutually interesting for both of you. Um, How about the script chess? doesn't call for this. Chess? No, I think that's. I don't think airsoft fatty. You're. Bo are you both interested in Star Wars? Is there any controversial takes you have on Star Wars? Uh, None see. whatsoever. This is interesting. Uh, hold what on. What about Let's economics? See. Economics? Are you very versed on economics, Airsoft Fatty? Uh, can you repeat? You guys keep cutting out. <laughs> uh, no, I think I'm trying to find. <laughs> I'm trying to find a topic that you guys could argue together, but I'm really having a hard time finding much in common with you both. What about Seinfeld? <laughs> they what about? Keep, they keep cutting out on me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, okay. how about? How about uh, you guys are polar opposite? How about something political, right? I think I think Airsoft, you seem to have uh, had some political views. Who are you going to vote for, Airsoft, in the in the election in twenty twenty? Do you want not want to disclose that? I don't hop into politics. That's the okay. Well, that eliminates, that eliminates okay. It's not worth it. That eliminates that idea. What's one of the problems? What about World Cup soccer? World no, Cup what, soccer. What, what about? Hold on, I got an idea. Airsoft, how about, how about, uh, is there, are you just sick and tired of like oversensitive people in the world? Are you sick of that? Damn right I am. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so let's talk about oversensitive people, uh, Airsoft. And what, and what people are you particularly, like, are you, what, how do you feel uh, that people are being too sensitive? In what ways? Could you provide some examples? Dude, you just came out all choppy and I could not understand a okay, word of that so, question. Uh, Right. So what what are some examples <laughs> of things that you find people being too sensitive with? Again, you keep cutting out. I'm okay. sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Keep cutting out. Right. So I'm so sorry, David. This is a this is What about good. Seinfeld? I like the Seinfeld. Okay. I, I know. This but, is I like... such a shit show cuz I can barely hear anyone at the moment. It's so fatty. It's cuz he's doing another show, you It's so fatty. Okay. No, actually, I'm not. I'm just right here. Airsoft, it's almost comical at this point. Um, question oh that I have. Oh, no, you just came you through clear. Now. Are you clear? Okay. What what sort of things do you find a problem with people being sensitive about? Okay. It's just fucking did the cutout thing. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Airsoft oh. fatty. I'm going to type to your <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna switch the server. Yeah. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna, try to I'm gonna switch the no, server. No, I feel like you're coming through audio is completely choppy. I'm gonna switch the server. One second, hold on. I'm gonna switch the server. Okay, hold on. All right. All right. Can you guys hear me? Hello? Chat, has this been this is the most scuffed show I think I've ever done. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is probably the most scuffed Royale in the history of the Royale. Hold on, let me switch. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, Airsoft, can you hear me now? I can hear you now, finally. Okay, great. The question I have is, what what sort of examples do you have for th that people are being overly sensitive? Hey, 
Example from over says to people. Okay, good question there. Ah, oh, my gosh. People making a fat joke and then someone else getting offended. Okay. People who get offended for a group they claim to defend. Okay, You've so, got no right to be offended. You're not the one that's targeted by that. Mm -hmm. Let the people who are being targeted by it decide if they're going to be offended or not. Okay, so the topic now I've established here is fat shaming or, or just fat jokes and, and the appropriate nature of them. You, Fatty, you come from the, the, the It's camp. just kind of an example, but like, sure. just don't be offended for people. Let people get offended if they're going to be offended. Okay, David, do you have a response to that? Do you agree with that sentiment? I do. I, I propose we remove the word offended altogether from any of these conversations. Okay. Saying I am offended is not an argument. It is not an explanation of why a certain phrase or word could be insensitive or discriminatory or make somebody feel like shit. Let's do away with these discussions of offense. You don't have to be offended on behalf of anybody else. Let's just treat people the way we would want to be treated not pretend that we don't understand how society and culture work and behave like normal people. Okay. Um, do you think that fat jokes do harm at all? Airsoft? I, I am not qualified to speak on that. You're not qualified to speak on that because you don't, you feel like because you are not a fat man that you cannot speak on that topic. It, it would be, I can imagine that if I were struggling with my weight, mm -hmm. there are no questions. There's no question that there would be ways people could talk about that that would not make me feel good, but I am not really in a position to say for sure. Do you think that that extends to other issues? Um, or is yes. It just, okay. Uh, like, uh... <laughs> I don't want to get too deep with this. <laughs> I don't want to get too deep with this. Okay, so you seem to both agree on this issue. It's it's un for me. It's not transparent if we agree, but okay. Yeah. Who's got the best combo deal? Wendy's or Taco Bell? Uh oh. I've not been to a fast food restaurant <laughs> I, in fifteen years. What's up, Airsoft? <laughs> You guys are coming in choppy again. Am I coming in clear for you guys? This is That's crystal. something I gotta figure out right now. This is probably one of the most Because you guys are coming in like super choppy. And I kept hearing like life. one voice feel like, and I, oh. Yeah, I know. I understand. That's all right. We have about 30 seconds. So, David, why don't you share with the audience why they should vote for you? And uh, Airsoft, you will share after him why they should vote for you. Do you get that? I think people should, should vote for me strictly for the lulls. Okay. Great. Airsoft, why should the chat vote for you to win the Raj Royale podcast? Raj, can we type the questions, please? Because you guys are coming in like I super think... fucking choppy. I'm being dead serious. Okay. Like, I feel like I'm watching a robot going through complete and utter lag. Please. In fact, turn the entire show into a written show. Okay. You need to read your DMs, Airsoft. That's why we've been trying to type to you this whole time, but you haven't read your DMs, okay? The question is, <laughs> tell the audience why you should win the Raj Royal podcast. Hello? Airsoft. <laughs> Airsoft. Check your DMs. I, he's gonna I, win based simply on this. Put, I checked it. I saw the question. Simply put, your boy could use a W before he gets his apartment. I get my apartment somewhere on Thursday, and it'd be nice to uh, get at least one W while I've been homeless. Okay, that's I don't the, disagree uh, with that. Okay, now both of you, don't look at the results. Chat, you're voting for who you want to keep finally on the show, who you want to win the Raj Royale podcast. Don't look at the results. Here we go. Good luck. Good luck to both of you. I might actually vote for Airsoft as a goof. Good luck. Let's check the results.
both of you prepared to stream after this? Me? Oh. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm going out in five minutes. Okay. Out. I'll probably go and get some dinner after cold. this. What? I'll probably be getting some dinner after this. I'm in Chicago, and you're only in Chicago once, baby. That's right. Go get some Chicago. That's what I've read. Well, looks like nobody here wants the host, so this is for bragging rights. The winner of the Raj Royale podcast is, after claiming 55% of the vote, give it up for your winner, David Parkman. Congratulations. You have won the Raj Royale podcast. Woo! This will go down in history as one of the worst, best shows ever. Thank you for watching. We will see you later on. Twitter, Twitch.tv slash.